The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Ask him that again, please. <laughs> huh? Nah, because he could then and rip him off at, at will. You know Hulk Hogan used to have a little slit. So I know. He, like, he puts the slits, he put the slits in his shirt like Hulk Hogan. Yeah, he does. I ask him, flip. No, I don't. He's a wrestling fan. <laughs> Bulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> And even if I did, I wouldn't share that. Gotcha. Got yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a trade secret. He does that a lot. It's a trade secret. He does that a lot. Trade what? Secret. He'll share some shit that we wouldn't share ourselves. Who, him? Yeah, he does that about it. And wasn't you the nigga that you used to like that? No. No, nigga. Oh, I, I do that. <laughs> oh, man. Don't start your shit, bro. Please. It's early. Y'all already with the shit. Not me. Never, ever. It's a dude cast. Yeah. Yeah. The bro cast. Right. Bros before. Finish, nigga. Yeah, go ahead. That's what you say. You got guy. it. Yeah, you bad. <laughs> Pro before holes, nigga. Where you go? Stand right. on it. I do. <laughs> How y'all doing, man? Feel good. Pretty good. Awesome. Pretty good. That shit is a myth that some hurt nigga came up with. Bros before Bros holes. Yeah, before that's facts. So. Yeah, it is. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, gotta be that? I don't fuck with that. You know how good of a bro you got to be to beat the hoes? <laughs> <laughs> the hoes can do some things you can't do, homie. <laughs> Sorry. Dick, it's, dick before them. No. It's, so it's hoes before bros with you? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that nigga's just no. different breeds. No, I just no. make sure to have a little bit of bros. <laughs> no. <laughs> just a dash of bros? Yeah. Because it is bros before hoes, but not the rest of y'all. I got like two bros. <laughs> So it's, 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 it's them bros before hoes, but not all bros before hoes, you saying? No, nah, the rest of y'all? <laughs> nah. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all like bros, y'all cousins? I'm choosing hoes every it's time. Stupid. But sometimes even your bros be wrong, so. Yeah, but it's still, you got to tell them niggas later on. See, with the hoes, they be wrong. You ain't got to tell them nothing. You can just be with them. Nah, I see where you understand what you're saying. I see where you're coming from with that. Let's go upstairs. Facts. <laughs> Well, nah, I see what you're cool. saying. Your yeah. friend, your friend outside yet? <laughs> <laughs> Tell him we gonna leave the door open. This nigga, stupid, yo. Do not change something that's been in our uh, history for ages. No change. No, 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 She's chilling, you know what I mean, on her Pilates shit. Let's start there instead of this True. hoes before whatever you niggas are talking about. Yeah, let's shout out to our pod sister in spirit. Facts. Shout out to Mel. Mel's home. Shout out to you her. Know what I mean? We love you, Mel. Got that little off dated ish like to get every other month. She got, <laughs> got that little off day. <laughs> like I'm narrative Nancy. In the flesh. <laughs> in, in the fucking Judy flesh. Judy Bloom. You better believe it. Guy, Judy yeah. Bloom. Who's Judy Bloom? <laughs> you know Judy Bloom. I'm aware. Who's Judy Bloom? You know Judy Bloom. We she's don't author. know who Judy Bloom is. They she's, she's an author. Well, she's an author. She's an author. You ain't never what does she write about? I don't know. The Some little, white lady? The little, I don't know what color she is. The little yeah, kid books back in the day. You ever heard of Black Bloom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we on G shit today. We on gangster time today, yeah. dog. Mel ain't here to save you. Oh, save who? Mel ain't here to save you today, I dog. Never need no saving. Oh, all right, oh, all right, all right. Yeah. All right. Ooh, nigga, I save myself. Go ahead. Bro. And we board list today. Huh? Mm-hmm. Somebody tell the good people what that means. We board list. Coming off the dome. Nothing on, the board. Shit on the board. Ain't nothing on the board. Oh. Mel not here. We board list. Off yeah, the top. It. Pause. Now I was born. Boardless. I didn't start this pod shit writing things on the board. Like, that was a luxury that came later, you know what I mean? Parks also was from that same cloth. Uh-huh. Three of y'all, I mean, TBD, man. Let's three, three of us what? TBD. Ain't nothing to TBD. Like that, boy, that, that, that boy came here after we moved here. Talk about it. And I've done a show for three years without notes. Ain't no TBD. We started potting with no boys. She's not here to save you. 
Listen, listen, listen. Yeah, I, dog. Hey, ain't nobody listening to Joe, man. How are you guys? How are? How is everyone? I'm well. How are you? We're, we're how was your vacay, man? Great. See you. Start school. with you, nigga. See you down uh, MIA, yo. Yeah, we saw you. Mm. Nori stripping you down. Yeah, talk about that. That's weird. <laughs> but 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 <laughs> we agree. <laughs> that's weird. That's weird. It is a little that. weird. That's what yeah. I said when I saw it. <laughs> Yo, are y'all are y'all com- commenting on my content? Yeah, I'm saying. A little bit. I, yes. I mean, that mean it reached. Point, I don't have no contract you know I mean? sign with you. That's, you know I, mean? I could do that. <laughs> it, re- it reached. It reached. <laughs> New job button. We got it. We fucking got it. Oh All right, what episode is this? 633, I believe. Welcome to episode 633 of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Button, here with a few of my nearest and dearest brother, Flip, is on my right of me today. This is a different body of mass than we're used to seeing. <laughs> Next to me, our sister in pod is home. True. Shout out to Mel. Salute, salute, salute. Uh, big library bre- blessed us with his presence. Ish is here. Brother Ice is here. Parks is here. Yes, sir. Corey is here. My girl is here. Ian is here. Keeb is here. Erickson is here. Gang. How is everyone? Gang. gang. Whole lot of gang shit. Yeah. yeah, well, not really Rico people. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Not yeah, really, yeah, like not really. Definitely, uh, di- dictionary definition, not uh, we just street a group. definition. Yeah, a group. Yeah, we just a group. Yeah, I don't even want to call it gang no more. Yeah. They G had, shit. They had the Ricos out like. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Everything's good. You know? No. Gotcha. But yes, everything is good. How was your, how was your uh, weekend, fellas? Weekend was great. Family. Spent time with family. Nice. Having fun working out in Miami. You know what I'm saying? Working with the family? Family and then working. Oh, okay. you went to Doc Hollywood? Yeah. To nah, 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 nah. I just, my, my uncle turned 80 years old. Oh, wow. Oh. So my mom Congrats went out there, my whole family went out there and stuff like that. I didn't want to miss this. And I haven't seen them in a long time. So That's what's up. It was great to be around family. You know what I mean? Had fun. That's what's up. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ish. You said I am not gonna say nothing. You said don't talk about your. You family. talk about, family. I, was about so to I can't say, say nothing. I have so much to say. Would you, that's it. Jamaican side or the Haitian side? Haitian side. Ah, uh, Miami. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you was protected. I'm always, <laughs> I'm always protected. Oh, got you, got you, got you. So you left here to go to an 80 year old party. I le- <laughs> yo, hey, yo, let me ask you a question. <laughs> yo. Stop. <laughs> All right, forget it. You tell me to go, and then you tell me to All right, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. No. I'm chilling, I'm chilling. Yeah, I did. I did. I, you know, it was more like a, a reunion. Right, I, didn't, I don't care if past no, no, what no, you no, said no, or anything. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't care past Don't say you don't care about my... Stop. Don't say you don't care about my family. I'm giving you one chance. I will shoot at you, bro. <laughs> it was nice, though, fellas. Yeah, my family, my uncle turned 80. Man, it felt good to see him and, you know, his high spirits. Happy birthday to Uncle Flip. Happy birthday. Uncle, Thank you. Uncle, uncle, uncle Flip. Thank you. Aren't you ish? Oh, I ain't do nothing. Building houses? <laughs> you know, a little something. I went out, though. I went to a little strip club. Oh, yeah? It's a strip club in a while. A little Jersey joint. Why do you think I'd be he, little to you? He ain't called like, none of his brothers, did he? No. You got I a call? Get... I turned my phone off. I wasn't even checking for a call. Yeah, see? Joe don't like New Jersey strip oh, what clubs. What you spent? Um, something light. Don't save them. Tell us about your experience. <laughs> I, no, I'm saying I, I spent something light. 500. No, nah, about four. Uh, I used to go to strip clubs in the hood, so I ain't call you guys. What made you uh, straddle along that area? What made you? Pl- oh you no, know? one of my niggas hit me like, "Yo, what you doing?" I was like, "Shit!" And then he was like, "Breathless," and I was like, "Oh, alright, cool, I'm with it." I went out. I had a good time too. Huh. You look like you did. A lot of talent in the room. Tons. <laughs> Round Smorg- of applause. Smorgasbord. <laughs> <laughs> talent. You know what I'm it's cool. Something nice to get out. Did you find any uh, anybody you want to hire to come on? Oh, sorry. All right, yeah. so how was your week? <laughs> <laughs> what time you got home? Oh, um, that's invasive. It closed at four. I probably left like three something. Three? Three? three. Yeah, you shut it down. Which, which something? Maybe three. Three oh five? Three oh five, three fifteen. Three, three, early, three, three, three. early threes. Early threes. Oh, early threes? Early threes. Mm. Was it, is that the normal time that you go in the house? <laughs> Nah, uh-uh. I haven't really been out in a while. It's like pulling teeth, trying to. Do you have something to tell us about your, the night there? <laughs> no, it's nothing. 
spectacular happened. All right, we got it, bro. We got it. Bro. <laughs> so, how about yourself? Um, my weekend was I was outside, like way more than normal. I was I need to sit my ass down for a little bit. Uh, Saturday I went down to the Roots picnic in Philly. Mm-hmm. Um, Fire. Yeah, yeah, it was. I love the Roots picnic. A lot of fucking people out there, bro. Yeah, I am not. Fe- yes, I'm not festival man. Oh, Especially the ones with the multiple stages. Why? That's the best one. No, it's not. I don't be wanting to walk here and walk there. Oh, so you're lazy. Yeah, very. <laughs> so, um, but I only went. I only went to go shout to Lex and Dre. I only really went. Um, my shorty was is a big Poor Minds fan, so okay. she wanted to see them. You went to the podcast stage. We went to the podcast. Did they stage. still do the um, the headphones? Which when one? we did it, they had like it was like a wireless headphone. It was oh like no, the, no. Um, no, Silent was, DJ parties type nah, of vibe. Nah, nah, nah. It was a stage off to the side. You okay. was able to hear perfectly. So, and they, they did amazing out there. You didn't watch any music sets at all? I saw the Isley Brothers. Oh, shit. Um, when, I, when I walked in, State Prop was performing. Oh, shit. Which led to a question I had. How many times can State Property reunite? I'm here for it every time. No, I show. mean, I love their shows, but you're, you keep saying this is the State Property reunion, and they have reunited for three years now. It should just be state property at this point, right? Because after they leave, they, you know, they that's put, all. It just it just bugs me out. They put, all like, the bu- they put all the bullshit aside when they get on stage, and <laughs> when they get off stage, I, the bullshit I would is say back. That shit every time too, though. Yeah. Yeah. I was about to say, you would call was, it a reunion. I'm gonna get a bag every yeah. time. You damn right. They ain't doing no new music. My number go up if I say reunion. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> see, see, I think about the business Psychology. side. Of it. You got it. I think about the business side. But yeah, um, you watch the uh, Fuji's reunion nah, last home. last time they're home. gonna perform. Well, first off, they ran them out of there by then. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, Philly's my second home. You didn't have security with you? No, I'm in Philly. No. What I need security for? That's why he was home early. <laughs> no, just I was in home case. Early, and he didn't know. go to the Sunday show. First off, <laughs> or the hip hop show, or right. he didn't go the nowhere. Isley Brothers play <laughs> safe. Listen to between the sheets. <laughs> Oh man, now, that's yeah, why you went to the Isley. Yeah, it's all coming together no, now. No, dogs. no, no that no, nigga no. ain't seen nothing with a hard drum. <laughs> but um, <laughs> little area have niggas wearing you right on back up. <laughs> 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 saxophone. <laughs> Ooh la la la! <laughs> Took your ass right out of here. Nah, they said Lauren Hill was um headlining, and that told me okay, this I could probably make it home before they, she starts. Oh god, I just need and, to stay with the Lauren Slam. Well, she was. Uh, in her defense, she was only 45 minutes late, which is amazing. Not trying to be funny. And she brought out Wyclef and Prize. And they did like six Fuji records. So nice. that was fire. Yeah, this that was probably fire. the last time they're going to perform forever, potentially, because Prize, Prize is going mm-hmm. up for potentially 20 years. Yeah. So I was like, I would have stayed I, for I that personally. Gonna, <laughs> no, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm good. You're something else, buddy. You're something else. What you mean? <laughs> Um, I, I, shout out to the homie Simba. I ran into him out there. This guy said, "Fuck the Fugees, but fuck New Jersey." Lex and Lex and Drea, though. <laughs> Let me I want to support my people. So I, let that yo Gotti. Why the Fugees not your people? Oh, Big but you were saying because they're not okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I did notice it was it was a clash of the hoes out there too. Kind of tell me that sounds good. Tell me more about that. Well, the main stage headliner was Lauren Hill. She brings a certain type of crowd of women to see her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The second stage headliner was Glorilla. Mm. Brings a certain type of women to see her. So it was really fun watching. You could see who was here to see who. You could just look at them. Oh, you got Afro. <laughs> you going over here. That's not good. It's, no, it's the truth, <laughs> bro. I can't look, tell y'all the truth. Board, right? I'm trying to look away from no. the nigga. I'm trying to look I, away. We're not telling the, the truth. No, it's no board then. Afrocentric. <laughs> Afrocentric women, yeah. That's who Lauren oh. brings out. He wasn't supposed to agree with me, nigga. I was just throwing it out there. It's the truth. <laughs> and then I saw the other, you know. What, the, the hoochie shorts and all yeah, that? Yeah, yeah tattoos yeah. all over the place, yeah. long colored weaves. I knew what they were going to see. Mm. That is real, real. Fam, have you seen judgmental. anyone? No, it's 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 acknowledging what you see in front of so you. So we're I'm not going people. to a festival if I can't be judgmental. I mean, that's true. You want to people watch there and see what see what's I'm going, going on. to be judgy. Oh, I can't wait till I start my story to tell you how judgy I was there. <laughs> <laughs> wait, so which stage would have you went to had you have stayed till the Oh Glorilla. Mm. No doubt. That's the real question. No, no, Glorilla. I figured as much. Yeah, yeah. But no, nah, and then um and then Sunday I went over to Queens to uh, Kevin Hart's final New York show. How was that? That was fire. 
He did it at um where where the U.S. Open usually is. Okay, um, Forest Hills, right? Yeah, Forest Hills. Yeah, I've never been there before, and they ain't want niggas around there like that. Didn't know that. <laughs> they had that shit locked down. I'm not surprised. Yeah, that was that was a little interesting, it's but a, um, it's a ritzy neighborhood a little bit. Very. Even exiting, hey, if you live over here and you got a membership, you can leave out any of these gates. You got a neighborhood membership. <laughs> the rest of y'all walk y'all asses down there and leave that way. Damn. They were separating just on the exit. It was it was different, but no, he killed it. It's I've seen the show before. Yeah, I was gonna say you saw him recently, right? Yeah, yeah. same set, sort of. Right, you come Similar. out. Of, you he come out every time for him, right? He switched it up a little bit. Took my shorty. She never seen him before. She enjoyed that show. Yeah, she was shorty everywhere. God damn, that's what you're supposed to do. Got him. How was your weekend, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> What's today? Today's Tuesday. Tuesday. Oh, my weekend was good. My weekend was, damn, my weekend was pretty good. You looked a little action-packed yourself. Mm -hmm. Listen, man, went golfing, went golfing over there at Alpine with my good friend Angie. My first time at a golf course, like a real golf course. How'd that go? Alpine. Did you have a caddy? Yeah. Well, no. Children no, home. we didn't have a caddy. Ah. No, we drove us to Angie with my caddy. <laughs> oh shit <laughs> We were doing it ourselves Is what I'm saying okay. Angie wasn't your caddy No she was She was driving the thing But no she didn't carry your, your She was clubs. getting my club for me I didn't know what the fuck I was doing <laughs> Now Angie go in that bag Was like nah for this Let's try the seven for this one nah, Here Here let's see what the six will do. See if you man with this six right here I'm like just give me some shit Word, let me I don't swim. know what's going on <laughs> But man what an experience Really beautiful Really beautiful uh, <laughs> Really expensive How many, how many holes did you shoot pause? Uh, nine Okay. Cal it's calming. Nine. I but nine because there were, it was a crowded Saturday. It was a nice day on Saturday. So you got to be really, really punctual with tea time because everybody's got a tea time. Uh -huh. So if we go out there at 320 and do behind us is kind of ill with it, he'll end up right on us. But there's that whole golfer courtesy etiquette thing that some people don't have. That's always nice to see too. Golfer etiquette. So he was on some hurry y'all trash ass up. I mean, when I looked over my shoulder, I could see dude and his wife. Tapping his foot. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> pulling one of these. And I was gonna be there for a second, so whatever. But I had a really good time. Uh I would go again. Good food. What'd you shoot? We'd be that way. Oh, who fucking knows? We played best ball. You know that, right? We played best ball. We'd be that way. If we were like if we knew what we was doing and happened to get behind some newbies. Be tight. We'd be ignorant as hell. Like, look at this. One. You want me to come hit it for you? <laughs> we played best ball. So it was me, Angie, her son. Uh -huh. Whoever uh, drove the best ball, we played from there. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. And Angie, every time she got up there, boy. She's <laughs> like Barry Bonds. God, that shit would fly. Your shit would go. Then she was explaining to me the rules and all that. All right, so this is a par four. You're supposed to get this on four shots. I say, yeah. I'm supposed to get, wait. That flag <laughs> all the way. <laughs> that flag? <laughs> There's a lake right there. <laughs> well, yeah, hit it over the lake. All right. Well, there's a sand block, right? Dog, you got four shots to hit it over there. I'm like, y'all crazy as <laughs> hell. <laughs> Lot of overages. I might have been a par 20. 17. <laughs> 17. <laughs> par 29. <laughs> Par 29 on them, huh? <laughs> Fuck these niggas talking about when I'm up there. Big Joseph. Quadruple. <laughs> bogey. <laughs> so bowling was fun, right? Golfing, and then golf, that, golf, I mean, golfing, not bowling, man. Bowling. Golfing. Yeah, I ain't like how they was looking at me too. Like I was poor and broke and a novice and just, I didn't like that. They was looking at me like I had never picked up a golf club before and I hadn't. Did you have a cigar? No. Uh, where you where were you? Huh? <laughs> Alpine. Oh. I don't know what that means. Is that rich over there? Alpine is no, rich, rich. That's ritzy, rich, ritzy, 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 ritzy. Probably the top three richest cities in New Jersey. Okay. For a while, it was the most expensive, um, the richest uh, zip code in the United States. Oh. For a couple years. So like little shit, right? I be wanting to know the little shit. I go in a little clothing store. I buy me a shirt. I buy me a little hat. I, 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 we in here. A little polo. And I buy the glove. The lady is kind enough to take the shit out to think for me. I take my glove. I put it on. I'm looking in the mirror. I, I, I. Here come the golfer dudes. Shouldn't have that on right now. I said, well, why? Because you shouldn't. Pocket and let it hang. 
I swear like nine of them said let it hang in unison like that's like a golfer <laughs> if you don't let your glove hang out your back pocket you're not even what are you doing here you scum <laughs> <laughs> I like the uh, uh, elitism that comes with golfing I don't like being on the poverty side of it but I like the elitism. I'm just yo, picturing when you get to the other side no, of it. I, I'm waiting for you to finish your ensemble. What? I mean, you I mean, wasn't dressed. You went out on that green with them Salehis on. We're going to have a beer. <laughs> no, <laughs> I didn't. Angie sent me a dress code to kind of follow and see what was going on. I went out there looking like fucking... Uh, Tiger Wool? Nigger Woods. <laughs> yo. Tiger Wool. I went out there looking like the most niggerest of nigger. Sometimes you got to tuck your nigga away a little bit. Yeah, I, you do. You do. don't say. A little bit. I don't call it code switching. Shit, sometimes my nigga should just code switch. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah, god damn it. Anyway, but that was fun, right? And then Sunday uh, was Summer Jam, but I didn't know it was Summer Jam. I didn't know like, We didn't even cover Summer Jam. I didn't yeah, know. I, didn't know I hit you, what was that Saturday? I was like, yo, you know what's crazy? Nobody knew that Summer Jam was I tomorrow. I didn't know that. Even reading the um the comments and shit, people's like, yo, it was Summer Jam? Nobody knew. Because this year, it wasn't the big to-do that it has been in recent years, Which right? Is, it's weird. And scheduled the same weekend as Roots Picnic is weird. I don't know who's there first, but... Well, it's not weird now that I went and just peeked around and talked to some people and just felt the vibe in there. It's not weird then. It's weird... Because we're used to, in New York, uh -huh. we're used to Summer Jam being... At the Meadowlands. Not just that. Summer Jam was a thing. It was yeah. the, it was the only was. ticket was like in the town. It was, it, was the, it was the only festival. Yes. Back when you had to go and... Uh, Back when you had to go and work your records at radio and go to the store to buy albums, it was the radio stations that held the big festivals. Mm -hmm. True. As time went on... The big artists are big, and they're not coming to your little fucking radio. That's not, we, we're doing playlisting now. We're not mm -hmm. popping up over there. We're not thinking nothing about that. There's a million festivals to go to. Yeah, or, we just heard. We just heard. Or um, we want more money. Y'all yeah, can't afford us. Yeah. Hostage. You're not holding and, us and hostage. Y'all can't afford us. And why would we, and why yeah. would we pay that? True. My man was I, just over here saying he makes a half a million at a festival Roddy day Rich. or whatever. That Roddy Rich. Exactly. Like High 97, we, because we've grown up in it, know it as that mm -hmm. but it's not iHeart it's Emmis yeah. mm -hmm. this is a small sure. conglomerate private that is throwing a, throwing a concert right so but I wasn't sure that I was going to Summer Jam like I might have just chilled in the crib so I said fuck it I'm gonna go over there but it's in Long Island mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. even that was different I'm used to being in Jersey this is mm -hmm. the first one in New York I'm used to being in Jersey so I started getting dressed I started getting dressed for Summer Jam All right. Pop out on these niggas right quick. It's gonna be some over there. I didn't change outfits like three times, and I stopped myself like dog. Well, what are you doing? Summer jam. You're not working this event. You're not performing. You're not media. You just going to be comfortable, nigga. If you don't. So then I was like, fuck it. This is too much. I'm not going. I threw some sweats on, and I'm out. But then I said, I'm going. So I went, and I go to the back. They got tickets for me, and I walk up to the back. Just me, glasses on hat low and I'm looking at the other people around. I said, holy shit. I'm surrounded by people that listen to the fucking radio. <laughs> oh my God. I was going to say that. That's how holy we all know either. Holy shit. Yo, this world is so divided. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, fuck, I ain't looked at y'all in so long. Woo! A doozy, buddy. But school I walk in with the radio listening to niggas and we in Long Island so this is a bunch that is happy to go to a we ain't we ain't seen no shit like this this is a new theater here new show in town we are excited to just be here it was like you could feel excitement in Jersey niggas is cool What's niggas is cool jam? car show niggas with money is out girls is out just bottles parking lot pimping type shit but anyway get there the girl says are you a seat filler? <laughs> what does that mean? That's disrespectful. That's please, wild. Please, well, not, she don't know. I she, hope it's not. She what got I a think bunch of Long Island radio head people trying to bombard the back. This is their first time there. I want to salute the, the people that work there. Like right. they did a good job for their first time. So she was. She don't know. They're not used to famous people running around. So I, you have to teach people how to treat you. 
said, no, <laughs> I am not a seat filler. And she said, all right, so who are you with? And then I said, me. And then she said, no, what I'm saying is, what organization are you with? And then I said, me, ma'am. <laughs> I don't think you understand what I'm saying to you. I'm the organization. Please direct me <laughs> to my fucking ticket. <laughs> you are definitely, I know you. It went I, a little. I, I, yeah, 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 I know. I know. It went a There's wee, a little spicy. It's there. a little, a little wee, wee bit different. Uh, mm-hmm. It's an older lady. You want to be nice. It went just like that. But okay. give me the money. So get the tickets. We go in there. Beautiful theater, right? Uh, and let me just start with, because I don't want to take too long on this. Them niggas ain't paid me for this. Uh, <laughs> I loved it. I absolutely loved it. My plan was to go in there for 30 minutes and boogie. Go eat in Long Island or some shit. That was my plan. But when I got there, unlike in Jersey, there was somewhere to go and stand and sit comfortably and see this show. Mm. Versus Jersey, which the shit is huge. Uh You walking around backstage, it take you an hour to get from here to over here, then this, you need dollies and carts and that staff. It just be overwhelming. But here, you walk right in, saw the show. Lola Brooks is on stage. Okay, dope. Lola Brooks is not an act that, right? She's a newer act. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Lola Brooks is on stage. But this place is packed. Brooke, I'm sorry. Uh, And I love her. Love her energy. She killed but uh, the place is packed. She going crazy. Backup dancers going crazy. Ah, 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 they busting the move. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> right? And I'm just sitting there astonished at hip hop and where it's coming, who's up there, this young girl. Like the backup dancers shit is important now. <laughs> hip hop is dancing. Mm-hmm. I'm old, we old now. Now let's throw back in the way. I was just getting ready to say that. Started Every, everyone used to have back to back backup dancing fact. crews. That is true. It that was back. Yeah. What a bang. It's, it's they back were in being the group important back in the day and shit. Like, yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. So they killing that shit. Like them backup dancers was going crazy. They might spend some money on them. But later we find out Tiana Taylor is Tiana Taylor is doing choreo, choreo for everybody. For, yes. Uh, everybody that got the money to do it is her that that was uh she went and helped Summer with her one night only show on June 1st. Like, mm. Tiana's moving and shaking. That's what's up. Which then got me to thinking, man, a label ran, an uh, artist ran label would be hard. Like, if you're sending somebody to Tiana for this, A&R is Jeezy, and th- that might be kind of fly. Mm-hmm. But the artists make too much money for that to ever happen. So that thought came and went fast. <laughs> so anyway, Lola Brooks leaves the stage. She goes crazy. DJ set in between, just like they do it at MetLife, but it's all New York. Like, It's no longer the catering to the other genres. You might have had to play your Atlanta set. This was New York focused. Mm. Next act that comes out is fucking Coily Ray. Mm. Another new new act. Jersey. Big Jersey. Backup dancers. They going crazy. I'm watching them uh, on the stage, and I'm like, wow, it feels good to watch them on this much smaller stage. Because now an artist can work this stage. Mm-hmm. Summer Jam mm-hmm. stage felt like it swallowed you. It's overwhelming. That shit was huge. Got you. Swallowed you. There's nothing that, and you could, you're going to kill yourself running around out there. Mm. This stage for the newer acts was seemed easier to digest, and they had the big screen up in the back, but more the same. Backup dancers going crazy. Great set. Great set. She kills that shit. She leaves. Then Fabio comes out. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> where's my bandana now? <laughs> oh, wait. I said I wasn't on some gang shit, but big trip. I was like, it's 20, all, all New York, no. All New York. I think Flex was just on doing a pop smoke set. Just all New York. And I'm standing there and I'm like, this is fly. It's focused. This is focused on us. And I think it's fly that these niggas got artists to pull from the backyard and put on a stage and kind of help nurture and develop 
I was in there having a blast. So I lose my mind for Fabio. Uh, and why don't Fabio do that Donda record? Mm. He does not, he did not do that Donda record. Huh. But Fabio come out there, bring a hundred niggas on the stage with him. He also introduced, he bring out the nigga that got the song over the Law and Order beat, I think. Like, all of the people was bringing out. Yeah. No, nah, the Law and Order, I'm serious. That shit is it's on fire out there. Mm. They sped up the Law and Order beat like the, uh, like the two milli beat. I never heard it. I never heard it, yeah. Because y'all are old fucks. But it's one of these young 17-year-old niggas, or maybe French bought him out. Somebody bought him out. But yeah, he got a joint. But anyway, they all kept bringing out a younger person that's got a little heat buzz. And I like that, too. That's fly. Mm -hmm. That's fly. I like that. So Fabio go crazy. <laughs> he leave. Here come Ice Spice. Great. Another New Yorker. Mm -hmm. Get your shit off. Her performance, and eh, not for me. Not for me. She's just walking around back and forth. She ain't rapping no records. She she got backup dancers, but these are two girls from like Fordham or something. These you could you could tell that these girls ain't sat with Tiana Taylor now. They out there doing some <laughs> lazy and it's like dog. But then Ice Spice brought out some girls, and then I'm saying, why the fuck is Ice Spice coming out after these people? That don't that don't sound right to me. She's probably hotter right this second. I yeah, guess Taylor Swift record. I'm arguing that if I'm on the bill. <laughs> I feel you. Ice Spice after five. Uh, yeah. She brought out Cali, Flo Millie, and Lil TJ. Flo Millie and Lil TJ. Lil TJ popped out a lot that night. He did. But okay, so Ice Spice comes out. You got a short skirt on. It's just that she's doing a little. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But shout out to DJ Enough Son. This is where I'm almost in there about to shed a tear. Enough Son works with her. Mm. So I don't know if this was Enough's first time seeing his son perform. I don't know. But he was real kind of sentimental. Emotional. I'm sure. And I was sentimental because Enough broke Pump It Up for me 20 years ago. Mm. So I'm just watching. It's like a chain. I'm like, I'm almost, I'm tearing the fuck up in here. And then as you watch this shit, and I promise you Hot 97 has not paid me for any of this. <laughs> Nor do they have any idea what I would go in the air and say. But... The difference is you could really see this time and feel a genuine love for New York. 50, That's really just the 50 year Flex thing, so. going up there. He ain't up there because he getting paid a lot. He ain't all, all of what that wild shit he been doing for mad years. That nigga just really loved this shit, yo. The same for Ebro. A lot of them niggas up there. So shout out. I want to shout out to them. Uh, I had a good time. Uh, then the locks came out. Oh, come on. Dude, who's the headliner? Cardi oh, wait, no. Ice Spice leaves. Cardi is the headline. Yeah. Ice Spice leaves. And the, the card says Glorilla's coming out next. I like Glorilla, <clears throat> and I want to see this. So I'm trying to wait for her. But then the, the baby comes running out. <laughs> he did the record. He came running out, all the jewelry in the universe, skin glowing, Flex walked them on stage. They starting the record, bringing it back. <laughs> that beat. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know. I can dance. I can lean. And I'm looking around. I said, I get it. I see it. I got it now. You got one. You got him. Yeah. He got us. He got him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got you, nigga. <laughs> you got it's fire. Hey. That shit is fire. Fire. <laughs> it is. He got him. They brought that shit back 90 fucking times. Mm -hmm. That nigga ran from the stage to into the, the audience over here. <laughs> mm -hmm. the then he ran over here, shirt off, talking that, that shit. That shit was like a movie, and this was the only non-New York moment. So it felt good. Then he did one of his other records. He went crazy, and then he left. Then the locks came out when I thought Glow really should have came out. And they went crazy. And then they brought out Scarlet. Mm -hmm. Just more New York. Mm -hmm. yeah. More New York. You get the gist of what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. New York, New York, New York. Before uh, Cardi came, I left. Oh, okay. Wasn't getting me out there. Cardi brought Glorilla out, by the way. So she, that's and that was it. odd to me, but I understand it. I want to know if she did her own set. Mm -mm. They did the Tomorrow Record. What would your choice be? If you had your own set... 
versus a bigger, more established act bringing you out for their set. People always choose the latter, right? S Summer Jam usually is both. Like the dude, like the dude NLE Chopper. He came out three oh, or four times. I met times. that guy. What a sweet guy. They actually hit me to come up here. I never heard his but, music before. But, but, but um, yeah, he's, he's- He went uh, crazy up there. He was on a festival stage. He opened the main show. Mm -hmm. And I believe it was French brought him out again. Like, oh, I was there for French. French brought out like Remy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. French brought out some other people. If you love New York, <laughs> this is New you York. left there feeling satisfied. Good. And you know what? I, and again, all of them Long Island people couldn't have been happier. They were really, truly excited. It didn't matter that this person got one song, they brand yeah, new. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you out here, you rocking. Yeah. Thank you. We appreciate That felt good to see, yo. I'm Dick Rodden. I'm Dick Rodden. Hey, I'm about to tell you, you, you kind of, um, I came in ready to shit on it. I'm going to be honest with you. Because it's not what Summer Jam was. But the main complaint used to be, hey, dog, this New York. Ain't no New York on here. You always had the Atlanta rappers. You always had the, the, the downs, just whoever just was the international hot. international hip hop. Hard, yeah, hot it was stars. never a New York Dog. show. And that's what I was coming in here to say. Like, what we know Summer Jam to be wasn't this. The people but that now, worked the it, event for Hot different. 97, you could see the calm in their face. I watched most of the show with Nessa. Relax. I was also with Nessa and Colin last year and Ebro. And you run around with a chicken without a head. You could see the people actually relaxed and happy that they didn't have to sell 65,000 tickets. Sure. Yeah. I was going to ask you how many. No, nobody that have. worked was that like shit was mad that it's different. No, I was going to ask you what the venue held. 20,000. Because you was, it's, it's, it's sold 20, way more intimate than the other shit. 20,000. A lot of people felt intimate. Everybody got a stage. We don't have the pressure of... Met life and this venue and the security and the overage fees and it seemed like the weather fucking it the up. The weather. Mm -hmm. It's indoors. Oh, and it's indoors. And it's indoors. Come on, man. And, I it thought did, and it did start to rain a little bit. Mm. And um, cause like I said, the, the Kevin Hart shit was outdoors. And we were sitting there like, yo, it's raining. Yeah, oh, let me shit. hit the round of applause for Round them. of applause. Round of applause for them. Good, good it guy. seemed like it seemed like they they bet one. Cause looking at Summer Jam this year, all I kept saying was they try not to spend no money. That's what it looked like. The acts you got, you didn't pay a lot from them. You didn't have to pay no travel for most of these acts. They all from right here. Thank God. You didn't have to. I, I'm smart. Just, I'm just, smart, yes. Smart. Smaller venue. You move but, it out. <clears throat> even, even moving it to, to the venue in Long Island, I was wondering why they did that. I'm like, why not take it to Barclay, Prudential? But then I think it looks like, hold on, it looks like they stepped outside of the, the Live Nation venues. And they also have new owners. Right, Media Co. bought Hot 97 because you know I was trying to get a situation up there. Mm. You know what I mean? And I, I, in my mind, I put it like the person that owns that is a guy from Queens. You mm. know what I mean? So I thought that he, you know, I remember when P.O. was telling me they're trying to change a lot of stuff. So, and dial back. So I think that, you know. Yeah. Because mm. I just had to double check and make sure their parent company of radio is Hot 97 WBLS, yeah. Now, let me ask you something, Joe. Just and Give it I, to I, me. I was trying to. Dude can. <laughs> I was trying to read to figure it out, but I, I couldn't get a direct answer. Give it to so me. So they had the celebration of the 50th anniversary of hip hop featuring the Locks. Yeah, the Locks were doing that. Now, what the did Locks they brought do? out Rakim. I, I saw that, that they brought out Rakim. Uh, but them young people didn't want to hear the shit. They, they wasn't born. They don't know the words. But were they playing classic hip hop records or they just did a Locks set? That was, that was my question. You no, know, somebody else came out too. They didn't play any classic. They did their shit and they brought a few people out. Okay. Yeah, the only thing I saw was Rakim. I'm like, how is this the 50th anniversary do, do, celebration? If I got to tell Rakim, thank you. It was on the, on the move, but yeah, just that's, that's fine. Yeah, that's very that's fine. fine. Yeah. Do you think that because that you you know you're very uh, pro women of hip hop, that's why you enjoyed it so much? Uh, I think that's one of the reasons. But yeah. I'm I'm pro New York. I'm pro I mean, the women are. in hip hop. Yeah. I'm. Pro Hot 97, I used to work there, so it yeah, feels good to see. Hot. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm okay. pro a lot of shit about nah, this you shit. Just, you, the way you are describing it is just... It felt good. It's a comfortable thing as opposed to the, I got home the mayhem that be going on. I'm about to tell you, I got home from Long Island faster than I got home last year from Jersey. Mm. 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 Just organized shit. Yeah. The traffic. The traffic. The niggas nice. ain't got no cars. <laughs> I'm <rewind that. laughs> Come on, man. Don't rewind. I'm just saying. No, it's true though. New no, Yorkers don't. New Yorkers don't. Yeah, the niggas they got cars. Yeah, 
You know, way less. Just take the train. Way less. I don't know nothing like that. What? I don't know nothing like that. Come on, fam. But yeah. Hot 97, Summer Jam yeah, was shout good. shout out to them, man. Shout out to them. Yeah, shout out to them. They lit my outfit up over there. I was on the phone with Ice, like, nigga, why, when the last time Drake performed that Summer Jam, he was laughing. You know, they got, you know, they don't want to pay the big bucks, but they were able to. They trying to dial back and they did You wouldn't job. pay the big bucks. Who? You. I would. All right, that's act one. <laughs> Drake. Yeah. Send that send that few tickets over and now. I'm say, but, but, but I get like. Who the fuck is even on, wait, let me just budget? Say this. Like, we not. Ice and I had a conversation. don't even want to go to your investors and get this approved. Listen to what I'm saying. Ice and I had a conversation and we were just talking about how great. And I asked Ice, what was the great summer jams that you remembered? And he said, yo, there was three that you remembered. Yeah. He was uh, telling me on the phone. Yeah, because I, I was going to the very first ones. I remember like Junior Mafia being there and shit like that. But yeah. um, one of my standout summer jam moments was the, the Kanye and Swiss beat battle, which mm-hmm. was damn near the first verses. Mm-hmm. They, they, did, they did a beat battle live on stage and, and that was, like not beat battle as in making beats, but right, you know, right. record versus record. Um, and that was probably my favorite. There's a couple other ones, but you know. Got you. All right. Classic moments. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Everybody say that. that they, oh, you ain't give a fuck. Oh. <laughs> I'm right. just saying it was that was a, that was another one though just to see Mike there. But okay, shouts to them anyway. Salute, salute, great success. Sounds and like y'all had a fun weekend, man. What yeah. about you? We ain't even get any. I ain't do shit. There we go. In the crib? I was in the studio. Not mixing, very mixing records right. down. Producing, mixing records. Yes. Oh, oh, man. Man. The you see it, right? Yeah. yeah. Shit. Is there anything to this Drake Kendrick stuff? <sighs> I think so. They're gonna keep, we, we said that before, though. They're going to keep doing this, shooting back and forth. Little light shots. Though. Yeah, yeah. No it, ain't, it ain't no all out. I'm, I'm, sick of, I'm sick of it, though, now. Why? I'm sick of it. it's, like, it's like rap beef blue balls. Isn't that what hip-hop is? No, it's been over 10 years, yo. It's been over 10 years. Wait, hold on. If we're not at the point now of uh, a record, a direct, I, like, get it. I, get I don't it. stop. Cause you, but you was a fan of shooting. I'm like, always a fan of shooting. Of that, cause you, you talk about that back in the days. You were stacked. But if y'all not going to do it, he don't like then the don't do it. Don't I, like shooting with I don't like the niggas in like school the that, that, that used to be do like, shoot. The niggas in school that used to act like they want to fight, and then they shoulder just go and start, mm, all right, let's <laughs> fight. Nigga, is somebody going to fight or not? I get it. I get it. I get it. This is 10 years of just blah. No. Nah. A nigga got to say something crazy. <laughs> Somebody got to jump out. And... I mean, I'm a, not for I'm, me. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, a bit, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't. I didn't think. It, I don't think it's gonna happen. But I felt the same way about a Drake and Pusha T, who just been jabbing all over the years. I said this is never really gonna and come to something, and, and, and then it did. And that's just spill it. All over. it takes is one. <laughs> all it takes is the right. Something I didn't feel said. like that about Drake and Pusha because Pusha was there, so there was always a chance for a just knockout whenever I get aggy enough. Mm. Kendrick is right there looking eye level with Drake. The same way you ain't beat, now Drake did me like, nigga, I never go to the studio for your bum ass. Kendrick is, look, he can't, they equal footing. I think mm-hmm. there's too much money involved for them to really get into a real go time. I also don't think there's any real animosity or beef. They're just both at the top of the top of the heap. So that could be true. I, I, I think it's that. Yeah. See, I but I like that though. Why does it have to really be animosity for me to get at you? Mm. It's hip hop because I got to. Hey, I, gotta, I like I who you are. Into that. I like who you are. I like your kids, your family. I like what you're doing. I like your songs. But I'm gonna diss you. <laughs> but fuck you. <laughs> Is there such thing as friendly competition? That's fly. No, but Kendrick did it. He did. He did, he did it. Got on the record. Out the window. Fuck Drake, Big Sean, anybody with a name. Yeah. What? You got it, man. That ain't what he did. That's not what he did. He didn't do that. No, he didn't do that. And I hate y'all for that. He didn't he do said, that shit yo, at all. He he in a rap. Forum, oh, here go. y'all niggas a, could, here y'all niggas could get it. When rap niggas oh. start beefing, they start getting personal and they start saying "fuck you" and all that. Yeah, yeah. He didn't do that. He didn't do that. He didn't do any of that on that record. He said, "When I get on the record with y'all, friend or not, I am looking to obliterate you." And then got on American Dream with J, uh, J. Cole and Jeezy and did the exact opposite of that. So I don't want to hear nothing about that. He song. wasn't really on that record. No, he was on that record. He wasn't really on that. He record. was. He could have did whatever he wanted to do on that record, and he chose to do that. So all of that shit, Busy I don't want to hear. Day. So Busy. what? And don't, don't try say that. that now you're trying to put Cole in the mix. I'm not putting. He's in that tier. And Cole said, you, I'm trying to take the rest of you. To you, he's in, he's in that tier. He, to them, he's in that tier, too. To me, he's in that tier. To them, he's too. In that tier. To them, too. To you, he's in that tier. To them, he's too. I know. 
to us, he's in that tier. So why you that do not tell me that Kendrick feel like J. Cole is in that tier. Okay. Tell me what about J. Cole. Now you're about to make it sound a certain way, but I'm asking real questions. What from Kendrick it makes y'all feel like he feels like that about J. Cole? That is a legit question. We don't we can't speak for him. Can't speak for him. I can say we can speak if it's can something I answer? Out there that, can I answer? The Black Friday shit they did together tells me that I respect you enough to put you in that tier. That you are one of them. Where they swap records and, and, and everybody been wanting a Kendrick Cole album. They've teased and hinted at for years. They never did it, but you give me your song. Why they never did it? I have my reasons why I think. So we don't know. We don't know. But again, what's your reason? Mm. Y'all ain't going to get me to think that what's Kendrick reason, feels nice? like that about J. Cole and he clearly saying he don't feel like that about Drake. But I'm not trying to talk about these three niggas. We ain't got to talk about them. I'm just telling you that he's done something that says I respect you enough to put you up here. Let's 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 wrap. Send me your record. I send you my record. To put you up here. Just That's all I'm get saying. The fuck out of here. Yeah, I know. Get I know. I know. I guys. know. But he won't though. He know who to fire at and who not. That's my point. Oh please, there's only one of them called the Boogeyman. <laughs> niggas have been saying. There's only the one of them called the Boogeyman. Though stop. Now it's not like I'm dick riding. Again. You are. But niggas have been. Am saying, I? You are. <laughs> It's cool, though. How? I agree with y'all. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You but, just, but I know how rappers think, and y'all don't never really think from that perspective. I agree with y'all. J. Cole is right there. There is no conversation. But if I'm one of them, no, we have a conversation. Fam. So anyway, So let me yeah, ask you this, though. In, in, in that brain, do you think he thinks Drake is up there with him? No. <laughs> okay. That's what I was No. Hell no. And that's why I think we getting these little darn. You up here with me because you up here with me. Yeah, like he ain't stupid. But you can't, you can't fuck but with. But nigga, him. not up here. Stop. No, I don't. Kendrick, I don't get that from him. The other two, I would, I would make that argument about Drake. But Drake has shown me enough to say, oh no, he really feels like this. Like he feels like, well, more than Kendrick, he feels like he'll share space with some of y'all. Mm. Anyway, I don't know how the fuck we got enough. I don't either. I like the dough. I like the dough. Whenever y'all get the dosey doing, I'll be right here. For Joey Joey. <laughs> I'm so corny. So I'm so corny. disgusting. Because I'm gonna be, I'm gonna get right to it. Don't oh, try. No, don't think you. Go, don't yeah. think you skipping my commentary. Oh no, yeah. right I'm gonna get it. it. We coming right in. Who, who you leaning towards? Huh? Who you leaning towards? Nigga, who card ain't declining? No, let me stop. 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 Let me That's the boy. Chill. Okay. Kendrick better leave Drake alone. I know that. I was just about to say, when he started getting in his petty bag, petty bag, and I really want to lock down to sit in the house for a week. But you got to remember, like, we come from, like, when hip-hop beef was ill. Niggas was outside. You know, fear for shit, we're controlling a lot of shit. Niggas recording uh, niggas' mom sleep, a whole bunch of shit, bullshit. That but that's happening. beef, though. That's that beef, beef that, that entered rap. It, it, it didn't really fall into anything, but it was, that's what hip hop, and then, you know, Beanie Siegel, and like, that's where we come from. Niggas was shooting at each other, going up to Hot 97, nigga. Who the fuck wanted what? Like, and well, now see, these niggas is passive aggressive. They throwing little shots, so a nigga that rap, look, and niggas is a fan look, look, of it, part, we see it. Look, look, part of the reason why is because they ain't had no other outlet but Hot 97 to go up to. Flip. Now these niggas are cut their Instagram on and just right on the black screen. Flip. They let the drill niggas Dr over Drake Drake is worth a billion dollars. I'm not no going to any radio it. station shooting at anybody. Nigga, what was Jay worth when he went at Nas, nigga? He wasn't worth a billion. What was he worth? He was still him. Not that. But well, this cool. is passive aggressive. It's, it's, nigga. Brand, co it's brands it's, behind these niggas, yo. Respect, fuck it. They're still hip hop, nigga. No, it's not. That's why y'all letting not, this shit get you think, you, down. Think, you think Drake is still hip hop? I don't know that Drake considers himself fully right. hip hop. Like Seriously. That. All jokes aside, do y'all think Drake is hip hop? Like, just hip hop? I think Drake has surpassed not just, hip hop. Not just hip hop. He's transcended. He's a pop star. I don't yes. give a fuck what y'all talking right. about okay. over here in the hip hop world. All right. Drake is hip hop if you look at his watch in, in a new city. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, what, time, he is. What, what time is it? I don't know. It's 4, it's four, four, wait, 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 it's wait, four wait, p.m. Wait, in wait, Moscow. Wait, wait, wait. And I'm about to pilot, get it. Pilot, pilot. Where we at? Yo, it's we 4 at? p.m. in Bucharest, and you niggas about to get it. But we missed that. I'm man. turning a new leaf where I'm going to just start blatantly dick riding. Because I support a lot of these people. I do. Even in summer jail, I was looking around like, yo, I want the best for y'all, yo. I do. But can you want the best for them and still not be and, a fan of it? And looking at them in person, see, we don't be. We not say we. 
because maybe not us, but when you see these people in person, just like I talked about at the Rock Nation R&B showcase, uh -huh. you see a young person vying for their opportunity and having to make people believe in them, not just mm. the fans, <laughs> but the labels too, the radio station people, the DJs. That's all I see when I see these people. So it makes me kind of empathetic. It takes me off the couch. Yeah, it makes sense. It takes me off of looking at what your publicist and your lawyer is sending out and just really humanizing y'all to be like, God damn, like these is our kids. No, the way you explained it with the Rock Nation shit, when you was like, yo, this is their shot. Like it's everybody is here. This is your shot to to impress these people. And if you make a good impression, this might send your career in a whole different yeah, it's stratosphere. A numbers game, but if man, you fuck yeah. up, you know what I'm saying? So you got to empathize with that. Somebody taking a shot. It's like a movie. I remember they pulled me in Kev little corner office. And we was looking at the songs that was working at radio at the time. And I said, it's fast. We was looking at the songs that was working at the radio. Like we just, just had Pump It Up. Like maybe not out, but we had it. Or it was coming. Mm -hmm. And it was Cassidy Hotel. And that shit said something like, 300 million in audience. And that was the top of the top. And they was looking like, see, if we could do something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but that leaves a, a young kid, and this, that's old school. Today, I'm sure their metric is something different. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it leaves a young kid to go home and say, well, how the fuck you got work to do? No wonder we want clout chase over here. We got fake fight over here. I need a gang over here. I need them, that gang. Oh, True. Need to get with this, this gang over here. I need some niggas with some street clock because we got to move around like, God damn, it's a setup. <laughs> it is a setup. But good luck to everybody, man. Some of y'all is real good. I love seeing Scarlett. Yeah. Beautiful. I love seeing her. Beautiful. I'm the opposite, but I respect her story is What? Well, excuse me? I said I'm the opposite. I love that shit. I don't want to. I don't want you to unpack it. I'm gonna just get at Ain't you. Ain't nothing to unpack. All right. Can't get at me over that. We happy to see her. Yeah, man. Can, you yeah. can be happy for we somebody's can. success and not like it. What's your reason? <laughs> like, come on, now I'm gonna get at. Stop. There's nothing to get at, bro. I just said I'm happy for the young lady's success. But you said you feel the opposite. What's the opposite? I What's don't like it. The, you don't like the record? No, I don't like none of that. You no. Don't have, you don't have to like the song. I don't have to like it. I can still This salute is New York. What the fuck? I Stop. The record is 10. <laughs> the, yeah, true. the record is tight. He's the yeah. He's oh, the for the song. You're not welcome anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm in Jersey. Anyway. That's why you ain't go to that second day of the roots. No, I went somewhere else. Hey, man. listen, I'm just listening to what Scarlett said. I heard you. That, that's all I'm <laughs> so, doing. What else is important or unimportant? I see they got Young Thug's brother, the judge is talking. Yes. Let me find a clip. Cause that should stop me in my tracks. Bro. I just read it. Got that sentence. should stop me in my tracks when I heard it. They have the judge's brother. I mean, no. they have the judge's Young talking? Thug's brother. No, no. I know. Yo, what, the, what the judge said to him, though. They said he violated probation. Six months hit. after getting the deal. Part of the special condition was that you're not supposed to possess a gun. No Joe Biden. And the state was very clear and in... Very clear would scare me. Ms. Pretty testified earlier about what the things that you were given in terms of your reporting in states one and two. Uh oh And then Ms. Goodacre came in and, and, and specifically you signed acknowledgement of firearm in states three and prohibition of possessing firearms or ammunition in states four. And then I saw states six and seven, which, mm. were the, which was the Glock 9 that was taken from the vehicle, which you were the driver, no, 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 three to four inches from me. So I find that based upon the evidence presented in this case, the state has proven by a preponderance of the evidence that you have violated your probation in the three means as set forth in paragraph four on the petition. Now, and part of this... In terms of the revocation, revocation. Your attorney has asked me to ask me to consider. Your lawyer the said two years. Of two years. <laughs> asked for. Um, and she's a nice lady. Yeah. And I certainly you respect try. her. And I certainly respect that. You know, you don't ask. You don't know unless you ask. Closed mouth don't get fed. Um, but uh, check this out. The, the issue I find the thing aggravating. Here. This, this is the thing aggravating though. Yeah. Several. That I find aggravating. You got arrested oh. with a gun. He pointed at him. Six months. Of you being placed on probation. <clears throat> and I agree with the state that you're not a candidate for probation. Because all you had to do is 
Just complete your probation and do what you're supposed to do. Instead, you were riding around a car with a gun in violation of your probation and what this court explicitly had conversations with. Explicitly. Explicitly. On the record. And for that reason, sir, I'm going to revoke in a balance of nine years and six months. Sheesh. And you will serve that in the Department of Corrections. And that will be the sentence of the court. Now, recess. Anything further? Right, you can break for recess. Okay, we're in recess. All right, we're in recess. All right, All right. get me a sandwich. Get me a turkey. <laughs> I am turkey and cheese. <laughs> yo, I saw that clip and stopped in my tracks, yo. Oh, man. And for any of these young niggas? I need Ish's former uh, street self to tell me how anybody... This is where I'm stuck Bruh, in this. That right there? Clearly, he needed the gun. Yeah. He needed the gun. So that's when the street niggas say, hey, better to be caught with it than without it. Mm -hmm. So I get that part. He needed the gun. But damn. What's the damn part damn. if he needed the gun? There has to be a different way to have the gun. D definitely. There has to be a different way for him to you have to pay a go flunky. about protecting you his life. Yeah. You got to do something. But if you don't have the means to do it. Yeah. We just said how they freeze the accounts and shit like that. You better, so get, a, got you better get a friend who the judge didn't tell this message to. Yeah. That don't have a record. Or you go get that a crash. Might, or you go get a crash dummy. That could might eat the two years. You or have three to do anything. Or the probation. But you have to do something. Six months after, and uh, in the video when the judge got to talking to nine, at nine years, shit, he looked over at his lawyer like, "Yo, we was talking about hey, whatever y'all was talking about, the judge is on some other type of time." Yeah. This is the same thing I was saying with that Ja Morant Adam Silver thing, but we're gonna see after the uh, we'll see how play playoffs. Playoffs. Uh, but this, this was. He clearly told him, Yo, your lawyer's cool. <laughs> and she requested two years for you. She requested two years for you. I fuck with your lawyer. No. Oh, wait, here go another. <laughs> nah, these niggas in court. That's crazy. I don't have it in me to be that. I don't have nine years to give away. I don't. I don't. I know there's some dudes out there that could take that type of time on the chin. I couldn't. For all these young niggas, dog. Yeah, they got PlayStation. I might have to try and be Bruce Leroy before I get to back, do that. Bro. Yeah, but they, they, they don't care. They care. They care for Did you hear the clip of Boosie? They care. Let me tell you when they care. I'm watching them little niggas. I'm about to tell you. Out. Look, yeah. they home. You know who cares? When you hear them niggas that's locked up and they start saying, yo, dog, I'm telling you little niggas out there, none of this shit is worth and it. And that's, that's what Boosie was that's saying. That's when the niggas care. Once once you get behind them walls and you can't that's get the, out. But that's how it always happened. Always when you when you get into the fire, you want thing, you want the heat to be turned down. True. It's, it's, it always happens like that. You know, and a lot of these little niggas don't listen to the people that's in there that that's doing the time or currently True. doing the time. They don't listen. They, True. they know it all. I agree. We're watching these little niggas. You just think you ain't gonna get caught. Yeah, you watch these little niggas man and shit down on camera by the corner store looking in the camera. Wow. I had to ask. Yeah. That they call you Cinnamon Salem. In, in the jailhouse. I'm sorry. You say what? In the, in the jailhouse, they call you Cinnamon Salem. Send them home Salem? I guess. Okay. It's a termination there is you send people home a lot. And basically, a lot of people want you as a judge for when it comes to sentencing Florida rapper fair. but just listen um, and I was kind of like playing, praying that was true so that's why I said I was grateful to have you as a, as a judge why would you say this I don't to the judge? Like you in your heart that you would sentence me 15 years for possessing a firearm and I'm not a convicted felon or as Mr. Poe you were found guilty by juries or peers for the charge of possession of a firearm by a juvenile delinquent you are adjudicated guilty of that charge you're sentenced to 12 years Florida State Prison with 546 days credits. You are 518 in court costs. There is a... Sheesh. No, you just don't know no better. It's 500... Uh, to a year and a half. So you got to do 10 and a half years. But you started off telling the judge, yeah, they call you, send them home soon, Sammy, or whatever the fuck he said. You were never going to tell the judge no... The thing about standing like before a judge is the powerlessness that comes with it. No. It's, it's knowing... You don't have a choice in nothing that you about to hear. I don't give a fuck what your lawyer said in the back. 
I don't give a fuck what your game plan was. When you get in front of the judge and God forbid he sees something or hears something that get him in a different type of mood. Nigga, if he had an argument I'll with just, his wife in the morning. Yeah, if he had, if she ain't make the eggs right. Any of that. You are at his mercy. Fuck you talking about. Yo, dog, fuck before you even get to court. When they put them cuffs on you, yo, you at their mercy. You could literally go in for a traffic stop and them cops could beat your ass to death and you can never see your family again. Anytime you get in the hands of the law dog, you are no longer in control and they don't have to do a motherfucking thing. All that shit on TV, y'all want my phone call. Yeah, all right. You okay? Dog, last time I went to jail, they put the phone in the cell. Make whatever call you want. I ain't have a number memorized in the first place. <laughs> mm. I remember, remember I got... I, I do two Hey, dude, hey, but hey, a phone call. And it was free. I was like, hey, free? Hey, phone, right, phone right next to you, uh, blood. <laughs> oh, all right. Free. And you can't call New Jersey, though. Can't call nothing but New York numbers. Just New York numbers off the dome, off the top of your head. I knew Yeah, have fun with that. I knew two numbers off the top of my head. Who knows numbers? I only knew two. But when you got locked up, you was cool with the lady. So you, you, you no, know. not this last time. This is the oh, other time. Oh, another time. Oh, okay. So you was, was cool. Yeah, you central book. Use that podcast card. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. Central book is they give you the phone. When I got locked up last time, you ain't got no phone. With the lady, the lady that that, that, that I, gave you special treatment. Listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm asking. I had my phones, my cell phones. Oh, so she gave but you. But when cell you phones. go to Central Bookings, it's a phone right there. You could get up and make any call you want. It has to be a New York exchange, and that's it. When I turn myself in on Dykeman, they let me hold my phone. Sometimes they let you hold your yeah. phone. In Jersey, they always, you know what I mean? Salute, salute. Yeah, Jersey. In little. Jersey, they always give Big Joe his phone. You know what oh, man? Yeah, well, I mean? I ain't Twitter never. In phone. Jersey, they ain't yeah. a menu. Yeah, yeah what you sink. want, man? You want some pizza, a sandwich, or something? Well, nah, I ain't yeah, had Jer that. Jersey was nice. I ain't had that. Well, nah, they fucking hot. Like, yo, my cousin got picked up and I'm, they hid the nigga. No phone call. He's not in the system nowhere. We was trying to find Think him. Think about that. They we riding that. around to different spots looking for him. No, he's not here. We don't have nobody by his name. Mm -hmm. And then a week later, he was like, yo, I was in Green Street the whole time. Mm -hmm. That was the first place we went. No phone call. They just going to, they going to, yeah, he said, they, the cop told him, yo, don't nobody know you here. And they going to pressure you. We're not going to find you. Yeah, nobody will mm -hmm. find you. Mm -hmm. Like, no. but whatever you think you're getting. Even, but think of the laws I would break at 42. I ain't got no law I want to break. I want to run a couple lights, jaywalk. <laughs> That's it. I don't want to do nothing, nothing too crazy. And you up. No, I'm not. Mentality, I'm not. Not after golfing. No, I'm not. You're not after golfing. No, I am not. Why you not? Why you telling that part, yo? What? Why you telling that part? I don't want to hear that shit no more. That shit is a trick. Yeah. That whole we up shit. Ain't nobody up. All down. 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 Tell well, let's say here, nigga. We can kick it. Tell so them what they said. Huh? If, all right. If they look at me like I'm down, <laughs> what down, do you nigga. think they will think of your ensemble and vehicle when you come up? Vroom, 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 vroom. Big stupid sir, ass tires sir, on a truck. Sir, sir, Hop out sir, with sir. your son on the go. We don't want to fucking kid. Yo, who is this nigga? You trying to skid? Ah! Queen Split, they will shoot you. I, 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 I they, it will that. be man you, down on that I, I, golf course. I would not do that. You would yeah. get you would get shot. I nah, wouldn't do real. that there though. I wouldn't. And would be lucky for the shot. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that there. I just start looking around all those trees. <laughs> oh, Man, I'm a run. It's a bullshit. <laughs> I'm paranoid. <laughs> But they was all so nice. They was I all bet. Like said, looking at the trees. That's what happened. Nah, they were super nice. We that's nice. What happened. That's no, how they, stop, stop. That's how they I'm going back in. there. Stop. I don't want to hear y'all shit. Joe, that's, that's how they, they are nice. Yo, I've been trying to hang out with you fucking da -da -da no, forever. You have not, man. Go ahead with Bro, Guy shot trip, shot I try. Y'all ruined Monopoly yeah, night. You ruined I'm fucking touching. taboo night. You ruined strip club night. You ruined fucking hookah night. There's nothing we can do. You don't call. Stop we don't there. do anything together. You don't call. For nobody. years, I keep saying it. You don't call. So nobody. fuck y'all now. You don't What's call you nobody. I'm moving nigga? to the niggas that look at me like scum. You want <laughs> yes. Wow. Go I'm moving on. Go I'm moving on from y'all. Hey, what club I need? Give me my seven iron. Let me get out here with the grass. What I learned <laughs> is none of them niggas out out there had friends. Friends is a trick. Friends <laughs> to no one. <laughs> Friends is a trick. What mm. is wrong with this? I, I want to hear some more of this. The dude with the tea time before us. Mm -hmm. Swaggy ass thing. Mm -hmm. Him and his girl. Mm -hmm. Both golfer down. 
Now, Prince got chopped down. Golfer, golfer, down. down. It was golfer down, down to the head, to the toe. <laughs> hey, behind me, Asian lady and her husband. It was like, I'm running late. And one little lady was like, we're fast. Don't worry. <laughs> golfer down, her and her husband. Uh, yeah, everybody was out there with their husband or wife or their fucking colleagues from we've been here for 70 years killing shit. It's like, fuck all that friendship shit. That friendship shit is overrated. It's over for that. For you. No, for them. I'm watching yeah. them. They, they, they hanging with the niggas that they get money with. They, they, they hanging with the niggas that they... might be their friends. Yeah, you aspire to be that. I would be friendly too if I just got a hundred mil with this nigga and now we chilling on a Sunday. I know. <laughs> they got tennis clubs. They got a pool over here. True. They got a basketball court. Boy, did I laugh. Yo. Boy, did I laugh. Oh, my... What? I don't want to see the basketball court at the country club. I went over there to see the comp. I pulled, I pulled my shades up. I better there not be no niggas over here. I'll get out. I'll get out. Because now y'all playing with us. Now y'all playing with us. Right. Stop the playing. fuck wrong with them? A basketball court. Beautiful shit, trees. I'm nigga. I dare one of y'all white boys come out of here. Joe, you fuck around and get the white Michael Porter Jr. over there. <laughs> <laughs> with a sweet jumper like his feet up. Art on the show. So anyway, crazy. nah, nah that, tell, tell, I left there and just wanted to work. Tell flip, to work tell, flip, tell flip the house shit. No. <laughs> Can't. Tell me about nigga. Can't. Why? Because it's on air and it's private oh, okay. information. No. Oh. That's and funny. I'm going back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back. That's so why I mean, you, hey, well listen, you should. Yeah, we you tried to smoke. hookah it out. I mean, we me. had a little blast smoke. there. I don't smoke hookah, my nigga. We tried to, you know what I mean? I don't smoke. Amazora, wherever you be nah, at. <laughs> hey, you know, you know, stop doing that. What it is that I'm around the same circles you're around, and they're inviting no, me. No, you're not. <laughs> it's a fact. It's a fact. They're inviting me you're to not. do different stuff. You're not. You want to go, go you, to a fucking stupid-ass hookah bar, eat wings, nigga. Invite me to motherfucking bowling or your big meetings where it's gonna count. Don't fucking diminish me to some stupid. Let's go to hookah and smoke a bunch. Oh, you wanna leech off me more? Screen. Nigga, I leech off myself. Huh? I leech off myself. It's three of me and one nigga. It's the professional, it's the skit nigga, and it's the father. You, you, <laughs> you can have any one of them. You F3? Three. It's three. You F3? Three. <laughs> some three, yeah. Stop. You don't invite niggas to ill shit. Catch steak. Yo, I was invited there by a friend. Now, we're not talking about that, but you still could take the initiative and say, yo, flip. And you said, you're going to be here. See, you look. always about five or ten minutes right behind You're going to let them get away with it. Yeah, get your shit you off. Be here. Get your shit off I'm the like, diversion. Damn, she right. I always been about ten minutes right behind her. I like that shit. Anyway, fuck it. Yo, stop touching me, <laughs> yo. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Okay, At the man. golf course, nobody was touching on each other like that. Are you going to invite niggas to the golf course? Never that. All right. So Never fuck that. you, nigga. Never that. You don't golf. You I did that. when I was a kid. You didn't even know that. I'll invite Ish because that's his vibe. See, because you because he they showed you how to hold your hands and all that. He see more. He see more. Someone sophisticated. Did. I got right? a few tips. Yeah, you get. I got a few tips. Most important beginner no. tip they gave me was, which sounds simple, hardest thing in the world. Keep your arm straight. Keep your eye on the ball. Oh, mm -hmm. keep your eye on the ball. And keep keep your arm. Oh, you left handed too. Ugh. I'm ambidextrous out there. No, you're not. I am. I <laughs> know. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, I birdie with my right with right handed off. You putt it. I said birdie. I said what I. I said what I said, dog. Birdied. We gonna shit. I'm birdied <laughs> with. The, see, I can't even bring you now. <laughs> I'm at, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I jumped. I, I, I jumped. Yo, I jumped yo shot it. we gotta talk. Why niggas don't support? Jump, niggas really up. don't support a level up, right? No, nah, that's fire. Nah, that's, I, I definitely right, do. How does it make you feel? I, I definitely do. No, look at that. Nigga, we really don't. We don't. Who I'm a, who we don't? We don't. Y'all do. Niggas don't. I'm a hater. Niggas bugging. Fuck your level we up. Said I don't give a fuck. Certain, fuck certain where you need to be. But it's certain. Fuck no, a level up. Yeah. Me, I, I care about my level up. It's fuck some niggas up. that y'all don't want to level up, right? No, no, no. That's no. not true. That's not true. I gotta think. Probably. Yeah. Dead ass. <laughs> yeah. Dead yeah. ass. I don't think that. There's a couple niggas. I don't mind if y'all stay, stay over there. That's kind of because that means that the person has, that means that there's some sort of fear there, in my opinion, if that was the case. Yeah, fear, I fear that you might that. get out of Don't try to psychoanalyze shit. Yeah, yeah, don't, yeah, yeah don't try to psychoanalyze yeah. me. Yeah. I don't, think that I don't want that nigga you. to sleep good every night. Hey, fuck him. That's di oh, shit, Y'all niggas is different. Yeah, yeah. Y'all some different breed of niggas. Yeah, Where y'all yeah. from again? <laughs> what country club y'all part of? Yo, don't hit me with all this fucking mythological shit. Nigga. We we <laughs> here, we here on Earth. Shit. I know how this shit was built and organized. I okay, don't wanna, and, I don't want to hear none of that and, mythological shit. And there's that some, ass. And you saying there's some niggas that you in your mind be like, nah, I don't, don't want to see that nigga up. No, I don't say it. But you think? You but think when it. I see them niggas, <laughs> I do an eye test. 
See how their eyes look? <laughs> I then look at their skin. You don't hear me come in and say, nigga, look good? That's because I did my check. You look this, down at their feet. Their skin look good. Their feet look good. Teeth. They, their appearance, their teeth, their gums, their hair. They could hear me. They were coherent. <laughs> All of those things. Because you'll never really know. Pocket watching don't tell you nothing. And niggas can be broke and take the greatest care of themselves in the world. Mm, facts. When you see somebody and just see how they doing versus life. Or are they aligned with life? Like, that shit saved me in my teenage years. Well, late teenager, like 18, 19. Like, started seeing niggas, the eyes looking crazy. My mom beat me down to get a job. And I'm outside with niggas who <laughs> grind me instead the grind. I'm like, all right. Nigga, I was looking a little yellow at 20. Let me go get this job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, nigga got, and it's not sick of sound either. This nigga, John, this at 20. Like, I'm good. Let me go on over here. Bag some bags. So some of them niggas, when you see them with the bad skin and bad whites in their eyes and haircut looking a little, just tired of the beard wrong. <laughs> Mustache. But that's not that's not all the way true. Niggas though. looking crust in the face. I seen. I know some. They get in your face, lying. Yeah, everything's really good. It's just, that's not true. Work just got a promotion. <laughs> You're some, looking at them. Stop. They looking. They bad. <laughs> they looking. I see some bad. Stop. Because every time you say that, they go to pod audience. They start lying too. Bad, oh, that's fucked up. Shut up. I see some bad looking niggas. Pause. That was up. Was. We know. Was. Us. I never. Yeah, was. You said was. Was. You was. Huh? That are up. That are up. We know a nigga. He don't look bad, but that will play the part and he's up. We know one. You Me said he you. don't look bad. It's up. Super up. But you said he don't look bad. He looked bad. Like, I don't want to diss him. He looked crazy, but he don't. Like, he plays a role of looking crazy. He, he puts that persona on to look Is he crazy? Dingy. <laughs> he is crazy. Oh, all right. You, we, but what I'm saying is that you can't say that when we personally know a nigga that does that. That is up. That will look like he's not up. I think, what do you got on? What are you doing? But he's up. Me and you know him. Take good care of yourselves out there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. really just the bottom line. Okay. Everybody take good care of yourself. Get that there. massage, man. A little facial. Oh, I set me a little Get that pedicure, uh, dog. facial appointment up. But we happy, though, man. That's good, Because she know you, too. <laughs> Yo. Antoine. For the audience out there. Are you going to invite any of us on your, on your new adventures? What's wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> Are you going to invite any of us in your new adventures? I keep saying no. Why you keep <laughs> saying no? <laughs> I just want you to say it clear. No, <laughs> nigga. Did you invite me to Miami? Oh. Mm. oh. He went to Uncle Flip birthday. I don't give a fuck where he went. Did he invite me? I love Miami and Uncle Flip. I hate you. Yeah, you know, enough of these one-sided relationships, yo. Enough, you be enough the one-sided leeching. one, man. Stop. Enough, enough leeching. If I can't go to Miami with you, then I can't go to Stiami with you. <laughs> 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 I missed Diami, yo. That was a nice little. That was that was fun. It was a mess. It was a mess. Stiami. But I, it was I fun. I didn't miss it. Oh, you lived there. I lived there. Diami, <laughs> Diami was boy. crazy. Hey. They were selling liquor out the trunk of the car. They was going crazy over oh, there. That's my kind of shit, right there. Yeah, yeah they not when you they, lived there. They didn't have enough police to man that crowd, so you might get shot at Diami. Yeah, <laughs> and the crowd just dance over you. That's my worst fear. Is I get shot and the crowd is jamming to their favorite song. I'm like, all right. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have been here. <laughs> <laughs> you immediately I got some wild, I got wild worst fears, yo. That's I ain't going to tell you. Yo. You ever walked into a place and you immediately regret it? Yes. Yeah, how yeah. the all fuck the time. am I here? I go, I go out to regret it. <laughs> oh, you live for the regret? I go out to oh, regret shit. it. Shit. Right. Everywhere. Turn. It thrills me to Turn get somewhere and be right like, around. I was right. yo, this is why I don't be done. This is why I don't go out. <laughs> About face. But he, you end up going out That's exactly what happened to him. Yeah, yo, and Later. round of applause. I, ain't, I, ain't, I heard Ice talking earlier off mic uh, when Ish was telling, telling his strip club story. Round of applause for me. I ain't been there, dog. I ain't been there. That little 10,000 that I went and got uh, whenever that was, that was right heading in the main. Still something sitting right in the room, like at least five. That's good, man. Yeah, That's man. Good. Clap that up. Actually, you're retiring your strip club, Jason. Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just tiring just, anything. Just, just, tap, just, off. just tap the break a little bit. Definitely know? taking a break, I though. I ain't starting five no more. Definitely going to take a break. Taking a break, Coming man. off the bench. Get into some other things. Like, mm -hmm. my golfer friends don't be out there. <laughs> there you go. Like my golfer now friends. You, now you saw what they do, man. though? Come on. Huh? Huh, Big Ice? Huh? Now and you, you feel talking, good huh? about it. You feel happy I'm about evoluting it. out here. Um, uh, that's yep. what you're doing? Evoluting. <laughs> you know what they do, though, I'm right? getting out of here. Man, man. What? 
Never mind. What they do? Oh, the Robert Kraft shit? Yeah, nah, they just bring him to the spot. Yeah. That's ill, though. I, that's my old move, though. Right, bit? I bit. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Man. Oh, shit. Look. <laughs> Wait, stop. That's my old move. You get shot. Uh, she's gonna fuck him up one day. Uh, no, I'm honest with mine. How about y'all? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you look? Ain't talking to me. Yeah, yeah you only do that shit. Like, stop yeah, doing that, yeah. bro. Yeah. Stop doing that, man. That's great. <laughs> I'm honest about it. How about y'all? We honest too. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's it. Honestly? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And to take it a step further. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got? What else we got? Well, no, you what talk, else you, is you important? You talking about Thug, brother. Um, did y'all see the clip? Um, DJ was playing, uh, I believe it was a 21 Savage record, in, in the club, and Gunners verse came on. And the whole club stopped. stopped in Atlanta. It was like, yeah. it was just like the mannequin challenge shit. Like, everybody was turned one second. Oh, no, nah, we don't. I didn't see that, but. Wow. They're, they're not fucking, I mean, at all. And that, that record, uh, Can't Live Without It, was like, it was one of them. It was a good, dope ass record. And as soon as his verse came on, the shit just came to a complete stop. What if it comes out that he wasn't a rat? Like, what if, like, what if that comes out? I don't think people care no more. They put some shit together and made it look like some shit, and he just wasn't. What the come on? Said nah. How would people feel? Just go right back to. I don't know. Um, I think people chose their side, and no, I think that I think that if it would only take that, Young Thug, yeah, yeah it would take Thug to say no, he good, yeah. I'll but tell now, you one thing. They could do the mannequin challenge all they want. That bread and butter shit is fire. <laughs> that shit ain't do nothing but get hotter in my phone. I thought I left my phone under the sun. I, I tried to tell you. As niggas, the days but... went on, the seasoning started to settle in on that bitch. <laughs> I seen somebody say, nah, it sounded like he actually did the bid. <laughs> came out with the fire. Yeah, sound like he came out with that record. I can't speak for whatever else he got coming. But that one. Got to hit in the car. And they killed your brother and you're hanging with <laughs> That nigga start <laughs> spilling some tea. <laughs> hey, I hey, and before y'all start firing at me, I don't know who he talking about. I have no idea. But whoever it is, I wouldn't let him say that shit about me. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't let him say that shit about me. Stupid. What the fuck is you talking about? You don't come rat and send shots at me. I think you called him a rat off the Alfred plea. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, I'm a rat too. I know I agreed to some shit at the end of something. <laughs> oh, shit. If he a rat, I'm a rat. Don't look at me. <laughs> what are you talking Sometimes, about? Sometimes, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when you and your lawyer is in the hallway fucking stressed and the prosecutor come tapping the window, pull your lawyer to the side and come back and bring you a little something. Yo, if you just say you did this, this, and this, and this, we'll get you the fuck out of here, Scott Free. And then you talk to your lawyer, your lawyer be like, no, nah, that's cool. I'm like, for real? For real? <laughs> you go, go, go home right now. For real? You go no, home but right you now. said, yo, if you say you did this, 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 and this. This is how it went. Yeah. Anytime I took a, uh, what's that shit they give everybody? Uh, missed, uh, disturb, missed something in the public. Uh, Misdemeanor. Disturbing the peace. Yeah, one of them ships. Yeah, yeah. Misdemeanor pissed somewhere. I don't remember what it uh -huh. was. But yeah, they give you the bullshit. Uh -huh. But that's how it goes. Failure and then you get up there and the judge sign. say it, just like they did the gunner. Yo, they spoke to you in the hallway, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you agree to all this under your free will, right? Do you understand all of that? Dead ass. I dead ass. I do. So, so on the day of June thirty first, you was doing a disorder nah, person. I did that shit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and and one time, I'll be honest with you. One time, I got it wrong. Right? Like I agreed to whatever it was, but when the judge started reading it, you hit him with a I didn't know if I agreed to that, and and I was like, you and I, and my lawyer hit me so hard under the table. <laughs> Just gotta agree. So yeah, I get it. But to be called a rat off the Alfred plea, <laughs> shit, that's rough, yo. I don't know. It don't matter as long as you can still make heat like that. <laughs> See, that's where Takashi went wrong. Well, he went wrong a few places, but that was the most important place. <laughs> he couldn't make the heat. Couldn't no make more. the heat no more. He couldn't make the heat. That I nigga, think it was the imagery behind. That nigga him went too. over yeah. to DR with all the star tenders, start yeah. painting some walls. Now I need more than that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go get the money up and go get the hey. international money. Not a nigga, you know. No, that's all. Say, I don't buy that for a, for a second. I don't buy that shit for one second. Tell that shit to another fool. No. No. You got it. No. I'm gonna take all the Birkins. 
No. No what? Just no. <laughs> Ferkins? No. But even if. No. It's going to run dry. It's going to definitely run out. If it ain't already ran out. It might have. If the Kanji came out with some heat, they might have looked at him a little different. Mm-mm. That's my next game I want to play with y'all whenever y'all ready to. What? What's that? Uh, guess that too. I'm gonna play. A, I'm gonna play a song for a, a millisecond, millisecond and a half. Let's see who can guess that too. Twenty five hundred. It's a TV game. Twenty five hundred to the winner. Seen the TV game? That shit kind of dope. It's a JB TV game. Mm-hmm. Twenty five hundred. I'm in. Twenty five hundred. Of course you win. I don't like when y'all win. Ice Ice was on my text that same day after he won that <laughs> game. Send it. Well, your rule was immediately paid upon end of the game. I ain't like Ice and y'all fucked up answers either. Yeah. Some it, of them answers was dead wrong. It didn't matter. It, was, it didn't. It, it, was, was, it was a game. I'm gonna pay all it was y'all. Dope. <laughs> no, it was dope. It was real dope. I liked it. But just, nah, I ain't it talking about the it money piece. I'm just talking part. about the competition Look, amongst men. Well, I'm a real nigga, right? No. <laughs> I'm not a real nigga. You are, but you cool. You are. <laughs> you are. You know what I'm yeah, 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 yeah. But this one is not. My man. This is real out of pocket shit. So, <laughs> nah, it was fun. It's competition. Whenever y'all want to play that game, I'm down. They said we need to do it like once a month. It was good. Yeah, it was good. It was man. fun. It was people entertained. It was. It was, it was real good. Good job. Somebody hit me and said, "Yo, you too competitive." I was like. Okay, me too. You knew too much answers. That shit nah, was I was fucking up. Hey, but Joe had you gotta get the right answers, yo. No, we gotta do it a different way where everybody. And write you gotta answers. have the right answers. Yeah, your answers wasn't right on some of them. I'll get it together. Uh, we can do it right though. You good? They caught my girl with the bricks. Oh, oh, she had the keys, the keys, the keys. What they caught? My girl. They caught my girl Rocky with the shit. Who's Rocky? According to Say Cheese. Rocky's my homegirl. Well, not my homegirl, but Rocky used to do a lot of reference records with Berg, so I got a lot of heat with her in my phone. Wait, you the know? R-A-H? Yeah, Rocky. Oh. Uh, yeah. They caught up with some real birds? Two women were busted with over 200 pounds of coke during a traffic stop in Alabama. I'm reading from Say Cheese. Oh, I think I saw that. Police became suspicious after their vacation stories didn't match up. Police got a canine and found two million dollars worth of coke oh, yeah, in the floorboards. That. Here, no, I saw that. Oh, Yo, two hundred pounds. It's almost a hundred birds. Right here, yowzers. Which was Rocky in Alabama? Rocky, free Rocky. Damn, free, bro. free Rocky. Look, I don't even know Rocky. Free you, Rocky. Damn, fam. I'm, I'm free Rocky. I'm hearing man. in Alabama, Shit. if you get caught for some shit, like the laws is different. Like you face like 25 to life. There's a lot of different shit. Fact check that yourselves. Joe, I'm not a reporter. Joe, Joe, Joe. If you get caught with 100 keys in any state in the United States, you are looking at 25 to life. It ain't got to be Alabama. I don't know if that's I'm, true. No, I'm telling you. It ain't got to be Alabama. It could be but random. It's worse than any, Alabama, any Bama. Though, my nigga. Trust me. It could be any Bama. You, nigga, that's a lot of drugs. So bro. what do you think? Two hundred pounds of coke is how many keys? You think? Almost a hundred, like like ninety something keys, bro. In the 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 floorboard of the, of the it's ninety something birds. If I got a hundred birds in my car, you think you can hold it down? I, we. Hell no. <laughs> so you <laughs> no. You predicting the snitching? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like <it's stupid>. no. <laughs> yes. Are you shitting me? It's ninety. It's ninety birds. It's got. She getting out of here. Or not? No, no, she can not it. <laughs> and she can still write the records. That whole organization is going down. <laughs> what? That plug better have moved. If you think that she about to go in there and hold it down, face him twenty five dollars. That's Rocky. Yeah. yeah. Why? She look like she would never do such a thing. <laughs> she can get a rocker too. Yeah. Huh? Smoke her boots. <laughs> is that you guys' analysis after hearing this? Sweet Rocky. Oh, damn. Hey, yeah, we're gonna, we gonna send you some bread. <laughs> Little GoFundMe. Yeah. But damn. if you're doing that, I don't know why you wouldn't have your vacation story together with somebody. Word, you gotta have everything in check. Yeah. And clearly this is not their first time making the run because True. who the hell is just trusting them with 90, 90 joints like that? Yeah. They've made this run successfully before, if A I'm bunch just of guessing. Times. A bunch what of times. What made them get pulled over though? I don't know. Racism. In Alabama? Could be. <laughs> That's true. Could be. I wonder what their cup was going to be from the two mills. It's more than mm-hmm. that, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it's two mil worth, not what they would got. <laughs> two point one mil is what it says. Whew. Go deliver that down there and More than that. you know that. Like, but they do they usually have an operation, like if you get caught, there's usually some things in play. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? But, so, though, like what? Like what? That's a lot of shit. Like what? Like, like if you get caught? Yeah, like you just said they usually have When they got caught, they called the specific number. They called the number. They knew what number to call when they got caught. Yeah, y'all niggas watch too many movies. That's no, not it's true. true. It's not true. That's not true. It's not true. We take facts, true. nigga. So everybody got their phone number. Huh? When you no. get to that level, they moving ninety birds on one run. That's a lot of shit. That's that's high level shit. That's not no play play. They tied into something. I drove. You think, you think they got the number? They got a number to call. They got. They got. Uh, Get what, what you say? Like protocol. Whoever doing it, yo, I'm gonna get them. Yo, take this run over here. I, I, <laughs> yeah, these niggas is crazy. No, sometimes, <laughs> no, it's not. I get what you're saying. I don't. I don't know though, but I get. I get what, no, I I get get what you're saying. saying I seen people I make the call before. I seen it, and I don't know what happened the outcome, but I seen it. Your I ain't never seen level. nobody make that call. I'm just saying I know it's protocols in place. Can you talk about everything you've seen? Me? Yeah, since you're up here, what you've seen? Can we talk about all the things you've seen? Like what? Pertaining to the man. No, I mean, oh. I just go. Yeah, that's hate. <laughs> I like, love potters. That's hate. I love podcasters. Why? why? I just do. You are a hater, bro. No, for real. Come on, like, man. Podcasters want to come. They got a number. We we are I mean, aware. I've seen from what I've seen. Yeah. Nigga, well, I wrote yeah, down. Nigga, I, I, you've seen quite a few th things we won't talk about. Yo, I got like no, no, what? No. Like what? Like what? Nigga, what? put a bullet on I can't it. Can't say. Oh, exactly. Yo, y'all got me in trouble. How? You and you and Ish. Me and Ish. Y'all got me in trouble. I only, try trouble, to, I only try to get Ish in trouble. Not trouble, trouble like that, but y'all making me spend some money now. Oh, yeah. you've been doing that. No, no, no. Y'all making me spend some money. Your girl don't want to fly coach no more? Ah, uh, shit. Yo, I heard the pie. Your girl so been you, shitting and wanted to fly coach. Yo, you, yo, when we go to such and such, yo, you got to be first class now. Like, what the fuck? And I blamed you two niggas for that. Exit row was the shit. But did you buy the tickets? Relax. <laughs> he bought the tickets. I'm trying. <laughs> we got them. Why you want to be with your girl at the airport and not be in first class? Now y'all in the long, doofy line. They treating you different. Hey, you ain't going to hold you? This shit crazy. You know? What's I, crazy? I've what? been, been trying to move some points around all weekend, yo. What do you mean? First, Expound. Yeah, I'm going to first class I, while I was going on a trip. You going on a trip? And Another one. fucking tickets is different, my nigga. Where you going? On a trip where? What? Out of the country, but the tickets was crazy. The shit was six grand one way. It's like yeah, yeah. no nigga, you my yeah no no <laughs> no. The whole trip cost six grand. Yeah, what the fuck is you talking like, about? Oh, Damn. That's why we can't go golfing. <laughs> why? <laughs> you hear these guys? Why? What if they said that by the fucking pizza oven? I would never. No, nah, I ain't shut, someone shut the fuck up. Over someone there. heard it. Timothy and Chad would never hear me <laughs> speak. <laughs> then, then, then they Johnson would know, and Johnson then they would know that they with me. Oh, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? Six. Know what they would say? Nothing, because this ain't happening. They'd say, damn, who's your boss? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look, look. And what would you say? Oh no, this guy, man, some Cause, guy. Because you've been your own boss for a while, so. Yeah, oh not, shit! Not, not anymore. Uh oh, Look, uh oh, not anymore. Uh oh, let's go, uh -oh. Let's go. Why not? How not so? How are you not your own boss? I work for somebody now. <laughs> and <laughs> see, people that come do the pod, they always get lost yeah, on man. the end. <laughs> and in addition no, to, no, nobody hears that after the first sentence. Yeah. After, wait, what's he saying? Nobody hears the second sentence. You only hear the first sentence. You work for someone now. Yeah, yeah, I work for this guy. That's what you lead them with. Guy. And you work for yourself. Are you no your and, Joe. Are you your own boss? No. You got a bunch of them little LLC shifts that you do. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you got like, what? <laughs> oh, you only acknowledge You, you, like you only acknowledge one of the LLCs. I got a few. It take 30 minutes to make one. All right, Caesar. Okay. <laughs> right. Pizza, pizza. All right, Caesar. Go ahead and keep playing, man. This nigga oh, here is a dodo, shit. yo. What else is important? Oh, man. Uh, I can't speak for the rest of y'all, but I had them, like Christmas came for me this week. A little Apple event was uh, Monday. That did it right? for you? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, for those who don't know, it's, it's called WWDC, uh, Worldwide Developers Con Con mm. Conference. Take it a step further on them real quick. <laughs> Take it a step further. <laughs> and it, it, it happens every, every uh, first week of June for the most part. And it's like, think in terms of sports, so you know how you got... Um, like kickoff of thir for the first week of the NFL season or NBA tip-off, this is like 
WWDC is the first week of the Apple year. They announce the iOS, all of the operating system updates that's coming later on in the year. So people tend to look forward to this. They announced a bunch of shit. Um, new Macs, new Mac Pros for the people that do all that graphic and movie making shit. But that ain't what niggas was waiting for. They fi- they've been working on a, what people thought was just going to be a headset for about six years. And they finally unveiled it, and it sent just the tech world in, in a craze. That shit looked trash. Next, no, it didn't. Mm-hmm. I ain't no techie, and that shit was fire. That shit's that amazing. Shit trash. That shit's amazing. That, that shit looked goofy as hell. Nah. You, you talking about the outside? Yeah. They said basically, oh, my bad. No, 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 no. They said basically I'll, I'll cell phones are done. That's the purpose of it. That it is the purpose of it is to kill the, the cell phone. And what, what you're going to be walking around and just moving the apps and shit? With your hands from the from the the visor, they're gonna have to make them shits look a lot cooler before the cell phone's gone. Walk around, think about it like scuba scuba goggles on. I hear you. Think about it like this. First off, look at they intentionally did not use the word headset at all. Uh It's not a headset. It's it's a new device. They're calling it a spatial computer. That's one. Uh Um, If you look at all the headsets that's out, yeah. Nothing looks like this. Okay. Everyone's been trying to rush. Like, even Meta announced a new one Thursday. Uh-huh. Um, PlayStation just dropped the VR headset. Everyone knew Apple was coming. Yeah. So was, hurry up and let's get our... It, even if it ain't ready, let's just get the announcement out there that we're here too. Nobody knew what this shit was going to look like. Mm-hmm. This is the first one that you can wear it. Like how Joe got his glasses on, you can it's, still see somebody's you can still see eyes us. in the shit. The other right. ones you it can't do It keeps you kind of... In the real world, this is not a VR thing. Everybody else was going towards VR, uh-huh. which is virtual reality. They lean more towards augmented reality, which takes your 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 experience and puts it in the real world. Uh-huh. This is going to be it's a game changer. There's no yeah, other way to put it. It's a game changer. And you know, again, I ain't no techie dude. They show how you know how motherfuckers was falling through walls and shit doing the VR I'm not headsets. Doing none of that. You don't do that. So you could, your son, they showed a dude, and his son kicked the ball to him. Uh-huh. And he had the, the, the things on, and he could still catch the ball because he could see both worlds almost. With the virtual reality, you would just be in that world. You couldn't see nothing else going You'd on around you. You'd have to step you. out of the... You got to take them off to, to see parks. Uh-huh. With these, I could see parks and be on my emails like this with my hands. You get what I'm saying? So instead of looking at your phone, some little ass print to to reply to an email, I can reply to the email just standing straight up doing like this with my fingers. That shit is crazy. They say it's going to take away the need for a cell phone. And not just that. Like, you go watch you, Pornhub you, standing up. <laughs> so it's your bag you know right there. You know what I mean? Yo, dog, you got the whole fucking screen right in front of you. Shorty on your lap for real. You ain't got to be like this. That shit is a long way from becoming what and, it's going to be. And that's where I think you're wrong. You look at. So I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you two examples. Okay, that's usually an ish thing, but <laughs> <laughs> Apple Watch. Uh huh. First Apple Watch was 20. I want to say 14, if I'm not mistaken. Shit was just an extension of the iPhone. Mm-hmm. Expensive. Didn't see them anywhere. You can't go five minutes without seeing an Apple Watch today. More people are relying on them. They put health benefits in them. Mm-hmm. The the world the real world implications with the watch now <laughs> is. Night and day from when it first launched. This is look at the iPhone when it first came out. They didn't have no camera. Mm-hmm. It was a bu- couldn't copy and paste. It was a bunch of shit you could not do. True. True. Fast forward ten, eight to ten years later, iPhones have replaced computers. Mm-hmm. People don't even have a computer in the house. I used to send people music. Yo, how I do this? Like how I do this from my phone? And it's it. This is step one, mm-hmm. and it's already probably five years ahead of the closest piece of competition. True. It's going to change shit, and look, we'll look back at this in, what's this, 2023? We'll look back at this in 2027 and be like, yo, y'all remember that heavy piece of shit? Right. Look at Joe Glasses. I see them. Imagine if they can condense those into that. Well, yeah, then we're that's talking. Because that's, that's all we do. That's Because you know that's all that's we do in tech going. is make shit smaller, faster. Sure. So if they could put... No, that is what tech we do. <laughs> this nigga can't have a serious Yo, but if they could take the headset and put it in the size of Joe's glasses, and you could conduct your emails and your work shit from that... By hand like this, that shit is crazy. That's where yeah, it'll no. be. As the chips get smaller, batteries get smaller, they'll be able to fit more tech in there. Like now it has a cord, it's mm-hmm. corded. They ain't gonna have that shit in two years. True. But a lot of people can't multitask, really. So 
you think you can, but you can't. So you're going to be looking at, like, you can't walk and do it. You have to be stationed. So you wouldn't be able to walk and see something happen right there and then fucking send an email. <laughs> yeah, I don't Bro. think you're going to see people walking around yeah. with these anytime yeah, soon. You got to be stationed. Right, you got to be sitting there. I'm going to pod with this shit on when it come out. I'm going to tell y'all right now. The day it drops, I'm going to be sitting in here with one on, just so we are clear. And you see people walking around texting all day, right? And a lot of accidents happen. But I'm just walking. I'm talking about you see people, you getting on a train, a you see somebody it's walking and texting. And if I told you 10 years ago that somebody was going to be able to walk and send text messages and do all of this, you'd have been like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like the shit but you're doing. But they're still not paying phone. attention to what's going on. That's the point. And with these glasses, you're supposed to see both, right? I can still see what's going on outside while I check my emails. Imagine a motherfucker want to drive with them shits. So he get an alert. <laughs> you know what I'm Imagine all the shit. Shit gonna happen with this. Of course, it happens with all the shit though. This True. ain't different. Niggas, nigga, how many times we seen a nigga on Instagram live driving and crash? A couple of times. A lot of times. Yeah. Okay. What's the difference? So, so you you so into the tech? Fuck human life. Fuck it. Like the tech Nigga, is coming out. I'm, tech I'm is it. going to keep evolving. This is the Salute. next step. Salute. I think what the iPhone hit out the park is it's convenient and cool to carry around. And True. even the watch to a degree. Like, does it interfere with your normal life? These, I think, interfere with your normal life, which is why I don't think until they become something like Joe's wearing. Mm-hmm. That's when it'll be something. These big ass goofy shits, I don't see catching well, up. Especially not, at thirty five hundred dollars a pop. This is not. That's how much cool. shit costs. Yes, yes. thirty five hundred. Again, this is a start computer. Save, start saving now. Oh. That's, a first, class, that's a first class. That's a first class flight, nigga. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it's half a flight. So just, so just that fast, you're off of this bandwagon. No, I'm. I'm I, I, I'm not that guy. I'm just saying when I watched the whole you presentation was, oh on him, God. that shit was dope. Are you but getting them or not? Nigga, you was nah, hyping. Okay, well, there you go. go. <laughs> I, thought, I, thought, I thought you was going to get two pairs. The way you was talking, yeah, you and your girl. Yeah, yeah, dumb. They are a long this way away. Crazy. They are a long way away. This is not, again, this is a pro device. Uh-huh. All of Apple's pro device are not for the everyday user. It's been that way. Mm-hmm. The phones ain't marketed to the everyday user. The laptops, the iPads are not to the everyday user. Now, people will get them as like a status symbol but, uh-huh. and then don't use all the features of it. That, that's going to happen. There's going to be some people that just go run out and get it and not know what the fuck they're doing. Down the line, when the regular air or whatever they want to call it uh-huh. is going to be cheaper, less features, that's going to drop too. Sure. I'm just telling you that this step right here is going, you, you will watch all your other companies, watch what they do. Well, I hope it has the feature where you can see the nigga that's running up on you from behind. <laughs> You can look, yeah, you can look at the glasses oh, hope behind you. Got the I hope t- it's not a delay with that part. <laughs> 3,500. There's a man. There's a, hey, there's a man right to your right. He got a thing what? in his hand. A thing. <laughs> Move. Look like he's headed toward you. <laughs> now, I do think that there, it would be cool to watch games on it, play video games oh, no. on it. So even though Macs have typically not been greatest for gaming, mm-hmm. if they catch up in that aspect... Yeah, I think that'll be cool. But as far as the everyday person wearing them, I don't see it happening with this. And again, design. Yeah, this is know. not for the everyday person. It's, it's not even marketed it. to the everyday person. The iPhone was. True. Yeah. The watch was. Mm. Okay. That's a big difference. I'm just saying in terms of revolutionary I technology. Believe, I don't believe that either. What? That, that, that marketed maybe, but the price point tell me who it's for. That yeah, Apple Watch... I'm, all I hear from anybody is how expensive it is. In the beginning. Not now. Even an iPhone, dog. You got to think about when an iPhone first came out. Damn, that shit was expensive. It was no, expensive. it wasn't that expensive because you, 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 it was like the old, how the phone plans used to be. You could pay yeah, you $100 pay. and you get it and then you pay it off in your phone. Monthly. You like 400 When you got to lease the phone, mm-hmm. when you got to finance the phone, it's, yeah, it's expensive. expensive. They created a plan to make phones, it affordable. That's how they the were. The iPhone though. cost the same amount as the flip phone back in the day as far as what it looked nah. like on your bill. It was... No. Y'all can't come with me golfing. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about. Man. I don't care what that shit is. I used to be in the headset anyway, so you don't need to. <laughs> I, don't, I don't give a fuck what I said originally. Yeah, I don't care what that thing costs. Give me the pre order link. That's all I'm waiting for. I don't care what it costs. You got the money to buy it. Yeah. I will buy it right now if it was available. So you got money? No, I don't have money. I just make bad decisions with the money I do have. Respect. <laughs> we got money. We got them. Did you order it yet? <laughs> it's not available yet. When is it going to be available? It'll come out early next year. The original plan was for them to drop it um, fourth quarter this year. And I've been hearing they've been running into some production issues and things like that. So they, they pushed it back. We can imagine. This will yeah. be one of the bigger flops that we've seen from Apple, I think. Oh, I shit. I think you'd be wrong. Okay. Uh, we'll review. We'll, we'll review. Yeah, for sure. And you base all of that. You're talking about this release when it comes. Yes. Not any evolution of it. No, the evolution, I think, once I, like I said, once it gets to something that looks cool and is unobtrusive to wear... 
I think it'll be a hit. But as it stands right now, it's big and goofy and expensive. Which is what every other Apple product looked like when it first dropped. The iPhone big, was goofy. not big and goofy. It, compared Apple to the Wars. phone, look at the old iPhone and look at this. It was big and goofy. Look at the first iPad. Look at this. It was big and the goofy. The first iPhone was way smaller than this. No, Fast. it wasn't. The, the screen, screen, well, I'm talking about thickness and width of the phone. Screen only. The thickness. Thick, thickness. Hey. Pause. 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 Yeah. Pause. How many times y'all want a ping pong? Pause. Thickness. Pause. <laughs> but How yeah, thick every, was it? Every, Pause. All of them shits were <laughs> too thick. Big and goofy. Not it's Pride Month. It is. It is. That's right. I used to get sassy over that apple. Yeah, yeah, do. That apple? Yo, yeah. Yeah. Everybody got their shit they like, he and that's my that shit. No, 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 no. Well, dang, what we said. We Parks said get that sassy engineering. Over. You yep. start questioning that engineering. Parks start getting Parks sassy. Parks do get sassy. What? On the production yeah. shit? Yo, I know how many beats per chord per. <laughs> All right, bro. You got it, bro. What flip gets sassy with? Tearing shirts off. No. Where he from? That's racist. Yeah, <laughs> COE. He gets, he, gets, he gets sassy with COE. No, he gets sassy with, um, from, from from Queens. That's racist. Queens sass. Well, yeah, he gets sassy. He'll nah. let you know quick. Wait, I from. see the sass when somebody trying to play his work. He don't like that shit. He don't like that. Oh yeah, yeah, that's he true. Don't play like when you talk yo, about you the can't tell shit. me how to do my content, bro. Stop. Yeah. yeah you what I get sassy with? Everything, right? I'm yeah. King King sass. You, know <laughs> you get sassy with everything. You do. I don't give a fuck neither. I fucking think you yo do you guys not know what I'm trying to do like nigga shut up my nigga yeah we know what you're trying to do fuck you say here. it a thousand times nigga we fuck see the vision fuck out of here yo uh, wait do you guys wait. want me to buy you the glasses don't do that I don't do that you that was you your first time I gotta this? tell you uh, no one sees what I'm trying to do when you start doing this he's up with his head like this nigga shut the fuck up nigga go to the bathroom y'all don't be seeing what I be trying to do how can we all not you, you say it all the time do your best to work against it Man, this guy. This nigga look around everybody in the room and say, I'm an ad! Who said that? Me? This nigga's an idiot. This, this nigga will harp, but you not. This nigga will harp on some shit that somebody else did. That was just my most just recent example. Just alleviate everything he do. Work. No accountability. That was that was That was, that that was, was that, the dumbest the, shit the, I ever seen. Yeah. Bro, anyway. That was crazy. <laughs> no, but he said it like he had unearthed some shit. It was, it was mid shit. You be fucking up mid. You threw the whole shit in my He don't even think it and, and then tell you something like that. Yo. He says, all right. <laughs> this sounds like but, a but you, still, but you still ain't like the way. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, no, it was no, no, no. It was new to what you was doing. You don't usually do that. Don't say. So that's nothing. why the nigga pointed it out. Don't like, say nothing, bro. You was going hard with talk, that shit. I would, listen, no I would finish this conversation, right, me, but I want right. the audience to know that Snickers is the best candy bar in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Peanuts hey, and if, nougat. If you got some, <laughs> hey, if you got some spare time, rush out and try and, you with some. Why and, wait? And Skittle and Skittle. Wait a minute. <laughs> Skittles, and Skittles. You don't normally eat lunch Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> and Skittles. You just told me off mic you don't like them shit. Yeah, shits, oh, you know, off mic. You said get them Snickers the yeah. fuck out of here, yo. You're off mic. You said you'll never eat a Snickers. Stop, 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 y'all. Stop. Oh, you got a snicker deal? No. <laughs> <laughs> and Skittles is gelatin free. Oh, shit. Now, put that down. Put it down. Oh, you got Muslim the niggas, shit. The Muslim yeah. niggas used to definitely Stop. say that, too. They used to be like, yo, you can't eat that shit. It's pork. Can't eat Skittles. There you go. Put it down. This guy's not I'm <laughs> You gonna throw a whole bottle of water on me? My nigga, if I you, spray this on you, you gonna throw a whole bottle of water on me? Bro, stop! You think this Expensive is water too. Stop! He'll never drink another water in here. <laughs> tap. That'll I'll be his own. last aquaponic. Go ahead. Bring your little deer, 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 deer park, deer life, whatever no, 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 that shit no, no. is. You want niggas to be bring. poor so bad, nigga? Like, Why you keep saying you that? Poor. That's you not true. Poor. I just don't want you to come golfing. I'm not gonna come golfing with you. And I decided not to hang out with you anymore today. After what you said to me about you not invited, I ain't gonna want to hang out with you no more. Okay, don't. <laughs> what we got uh, <laughs> You know always be expecting Some pushback Alright that's bad Alright All right, we, 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 What else we, we doing you. <laughs> like, Nigga do be waiting like this uh, <laughs> I put it down Come on what else we got What else uh, we got What's Get the, your phone get Oh your, uh, the game Championship The game Championship is going yeah. on He came back man The heat came back They swung back How was game two Compared to game they one They that They might Yo Was game two good you better stand on what you stood I, on. Uh, I think the Denver is the best team. Oh, okay, and I do think they'll win five. Adamant. But that being said, the Heat has fucking showed me wrong every turn in this playoff. So I do think they can make it more interesting. But I think the Nuggets are a way better team. I think we're seeing the two best teams. Like I, I think that um, 
oftentimes it's not necessarily like the the some superstars will carry you to the to the chip. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. With them, it's a collective effort on both sides. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. and we don't really always see that. Anybody could get or be the leading scorer for either team. You know what I'm saying? True. Like, it could be Michael Porter, it could be Joker, it could be Murray, on, on and conversely on uh, the Heat. J- Jimmy Butler don't always lead them in scoring. Very seldom. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just depends on whoever is hot that day. They them, they two good ass teams. And I told you that um, in Game One. Miami just was missing shots. They was getting great looks, and they played a good game. They just was missing shots, and they kept it close. They was in within 10 for the most part of all the game. Mm-hmm. That's why I felt like they could beat Denver if they just hit a couple of those shots. Like, me and Joe both came in like, yo, that game wasn't so lopsided. You know what I'm saying? That first uh-huh. game wasn't so lopsided. Even though Denver won, you know, had to lead the whole game, Miami played like shit and still stuck around. Not played like shit, but they just missed shots. But they still stuck around, and that showed in game two. I'm just happy to get a good series. It's a great I, series. I, I been, it is very good. As much as I think Denver is better and should win this series uh, decidedly, I don't want to see that. I want to see you more did. basketball. I do remember you saying if, if, you're, if you're Denver, you're afraid of that because yeah. they didn't play their best game and stayed in it. And Denver was shooting like 60% from the field and still was only up 9 or 10 points for the most part of the whole game. When you playing that good and you not putting them away, putting them away, that got to be some cause for concern. True. You know what I'm saying? Like, in my opinion, and I also want to take my hat off to the Joker again, he's by far, Corey, he's by far the best player in the NBA right now. By far. I think he's the best player in the NBA. Yeah. I don't know about by far. Steph is on his heels, but. Steph is on his heels. Steph is on his heels. That's it. It ain't just him and Steph. Huh. Based off of his IQ, correct? No, uh, just he's just a different type of dude. Okay, he plays slow, but he is slow. He's not he's not athletic, but he plays smart. That little touch pass to the uh, uh, dude down—I don't even remember who Gordon. it was. Yeah, Gordon? it was Gordon. Yeah, you're right. That shit was beautiful. <laughs> I haven't watched any of these finals, and I don't think I will. Um, but every highlight I see, Joker is just. He played, it's almost like he's playing old basketball. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like the only one playing it. it kind of and they can't stop of, him. It kind of reminds me of Tim Duncan back in the day, a little bit. Yeah. Where it's like kind of boring, quote unquote, boring to watch because it's you like go, fundamental basketball a little bit. You go look at a stat line like, what? But he'd be killing. Yeah. I see your smirky face. Mm-hmm. Shut the fuck up, yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I see your smirky With all face. this recency. Oh, my God. I love y'all. Fucking Joker, Joker. You hate the Joker. <laughs> I, d- I don't, but now nah, I don't want to hear all this shit like this nigga's Will Chamberlain. Sit down, stop. I don't want to hear this nigga like y'all haven't lived through seeing amazing shit. He's doing amazing shit. Y'all have seen it before. Now, because the media and the marketing campaign done revved up there in the finals, now everybody out here, listen, he maybe just be the best player in the league. Nigga, knock it off. We've never said that. Stop. I don't want to hear y'all. I know. And them niggas might go home. But maybe and them niggas because he's home. doing amazing And them shit. niggas might go home. Well, he, and we right, well, he was amazing and got clipped at home, game two, first loss at home of the season. Now what? Amazing niggas lose. Listen. I'm, no, I'm just saying. What listen, I'm saying to y'all he plays is in there's different. no debate that just this man is amazing. Mm-hmm. But that can't be where the conversation starts and ends. No, I think Who that, cares that he's amazing? I, them niggas can get clipped. Them niggas don't look like the toughest of teams. Like we already mentioned about game one, me and you, and listen, the tougher team might be the team that's better than them. Could be. And if they're going to go out there and do that and sleep on Miami like they did in game two and just not switch the switches and leave the three-point dudes, they're like, come on, come on, come on. I don't want to – I'm not – it's too many people in New York – Specifically, that I keep hearing speak about Denver like they one of the best teams in the universe, and I don't see that when I see them. They can be had. Shit. They can be had. He could be the best one man show in the world, but they can be had. Oh, as a team, I think I think that this is what's happened with the Joker. I think more people are talking about him now. They play in Denver, uh-huh. so you don't really see them play that often. Yeah, it's usually West Coast. The games, games be late as hell at nighttime. Uh-huh. Now he's on the front stage, and people have heard about him, but they haven't seen him play. Oh, please! This you, is the, you, this is the Greek freak play all over again. I disagree. Everything that you just said. Is applicable to the Greek freak before he won his chip. Well, everything, not the West Coast Park. everything. No, you said, not at all. 
Wait, huh? Not, not the not West Coast part. No. Greg Freak plays in the East Eastern Conference. We yes. see him. And we oh. see him play off. Stop. Often. Oh, my. All right, I'm done having this talk. It's a small market team. Niggas was not seeing him play often. We're not talking about that. We're talking about when he plays East Coast games. Like, he plays all the East Coast teams often, so we see him. They stuffed that nigga off television until it was time to put him there, is what I'm saying. I don't understand. But, yeah. all right, we, 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 could, we can move on. What that boy is doing out there, we haven't seen anybody do. And we've been watching basketball for 30 years. You haven't seen anybody do that. i just seen Russell Westbrook average a true double for two seasons. From a point guard spot. All right, forget it. <laughs> forget it. Never mind. It's very different. It is. It is. It's very different. Okay. You've not seen a big do that. You've seen LeBron do that. You've seen guards do that. You've never seen a seven-foot center average 10 assists a game. With no athletic For a season, Joe. He's averaging a triple-double in the playoffs. That's a lot. That's not to be just diminished like, uh, uh. It's not to be diminished, but don't scream at me because I don't value it like y'all. No, I'm not. I'm not screaming at you. I know. But I'm bugged with this shit. I've heard it enough. Enough. Too much. (laughs) This guy. (laughs) But what I will say is it looks like we were wrong about the ratings. They do look up. They look up from last year, yeah. Mm. I mean, it seems like it always goes up. The little meme I saw, like every year was up and up and up and up and up. One of them years, this shit was mad low. One of them in Milwaukee joints, it was super low. One of them joints, it was low. I, I would, I don't know. So what's up? Shout, shout to Miami. Shout to Miami. Shout to Denver. It's a really good series, which is good. Mm-hmm. The games are mad close. Both games are close. True. So that's dope. As a fan, you you sitting on the edge of your seat watching the game, and it's dope. It, it didn't disappoint. I would like to see a long series. I want Miami to win. But prediction: Miami ish. I think it goes seven games. I want Miami to win. Denver can win, but I want Miami to win. Like, I want Miami to win. Parks? I'm rooting for Miami, the underdog. And I root for Miami teams a little bit. So I'm rooting for Miami, but I think Denver's a better team. And we'll probably win in six now. So you know the, the best player that y'all think in the, in the NBA, y'all don't want to see him get his chip? Denver get his I kind of do, but I, I always root for the underdog. No. So why y'all hype this, <laughs> why y'all hype this nigga so much? He's nice. Because they've seen a lot of commercials. No, because I watch basketball and I know basketball. Because they've seen a lot of commercials. So you just hyping them just like What commercial is Joker? I don't know what the, Joe not making no sense. They've seen a lot of shows where the analysts say he's the best player in the world. Uh-huh. That's why you Because like- before this playoffs, you never heard one person say this is the best player in the world. Not one. Not one. I stand in that. Not one. I don't give a fuck what they talking about. You ain't hear one. What does that mean? They it means that. what I just said. That means upon further information and gathering oh. more information, you come to a conclusion. All right, so this is new shit since April. So you support my claim. So this is new shit since April. Because before this, it was Greek Freak. It was Joel Embiid. I, I don't it like It was LeBron one James. One. It was Steph Curry. We've been around enough to hear the best player in the league conversations. So y'all are now just concluding this since April. I just want to highlight it. Even if, even if that is the case, so? No, I just want it to be said. Oh, There's nothing wrong with it, no. but... Let's like, say it. Again. So we, when I say there's like a recency bias, don't we, look at me like I'm crazy. April was just two months ago. We see stat lines. April was two months ago. Uh-huh. We, see, we see stat lines. Uh-huh. Every, every day when you cut on TV, you see stat lines. If you play fantasy sports, you see stat lines. Mm-hmm. When you see this big, white, slow motherfucker out there doing shit magically with a basketball, that is impressive. So now that it's on our TV every other day for the last two months, mm-hmm. yeah, some people are coming to say, oh, yo, he ain't all hype. If he loses this series, will he be the best player in the world still? He's the best player in the NBA right now. Can you answer my yes. question so we can advance yes. the talk? I will also say that he is playing better than he has previously. So it's also kind of okay to say he's the best player right now. Because maybe he wasn't last year because Steph was better. But he stepped the shit up there in the finals and looked good in the finals. We're on record that if he loses, which I don't know that he will. Even if he does. Shit. So, so let me crazy as hell. So now you, you if Jimmy Butler would have lost that last series to Boston, uh-huh. all that shit they was talking about, that best playoff player shit, that was out the window. You can't you can't lose a series that you're not supposed to lose. The same way they killed LeBron when he lost to uh, the Mavericks. You cannot lose to the eighth seed and be the best player in the world. I'm not rolling. But stop, because y'all make y'all are framing this like I hate him. I didn't say that at all. I'm saying that every because if that's the case then the be- nobody's going to say the best player in the NBA is on the Heat. Nobody was saying it, though. Listen to what I'm saying before you just argue. Nobody in the world will say the best basketball player in the NBA is on the Heat. Would you I don't agree? know what that means. I'm about to explain. 
Explain it. So that means that whoever is the best player in your brain, your brain, your brain, your brain, your brain, is home. So the, the, the best player in the NBA had to have lost unless they are playing for the Heat under your guise of, yo, the best player is going to win the championship. What, the, what else we got? What movies came out? I'm not doing this with you. <laughs> Anybody? No movies. Well, nah, nah. Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Verse. Spider-Man came out. Across the Spider-Verse came out. Flip saw it. That shit was fire. You've been hyping it, too. That shit was fire. So it's the best movie you've ever seen. Yeah, in a long time. I mean, you know, like, I Googled it. Um, what's those two people that, Crystal and Reva, what, what, is, what are their names? Who? Cisco um, and Reva? Yeah, 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 yeah. Crystal, yeah, yeah. what'd you say? <laughs> Crystal. <laughs> nah. Stop, I'm laughing. I'm just saying they, they bigged it up. I, I Googled it after. But when I was in the movie theater, I was Wait, watching one of them it. dead, right? One of them is dead. <laughs> whatever, whoever, whatever the company, the company, the company that's behind them niggas, stop. The company, let me find, the company that's behind them niggas is bigging it up. Stop, man. Yo. Let me talk. That's supposed to help me. I'm with you. Bro. All right, I'm, I'm in the movie theater. Yeah. Now I go to the 4DX where the chairs move. So I'm, that's, that's, I'm in there a lot. And the movie... Was good. The storyline, how it was put together, was great. The movie was so good that grown ass people at the end of the movie, the way it ended, was cursing and upset that it ended the way it did. We was on our seat, like, nigga, what the fuck is going on? He's in the Spider Verse, niggas, ch spoiler alert, they're chasing him, all type of ill shit. We don't know if he's gonna get away. Then we find out, you know, especially as a minority, the spider wasn't supposed to bite him. All that shit was in play. And I'm like, oh shit. At the end, the way it ended, nigga, grown like, what the fuck? I heard niggas cursing their kids, like, crying. <laughs> I was in Florida like this, oh, shit, by myself. Yo, the spider don't like black people? That's racist. No, the you spider like black people. He's a minority, the spider wasn't supposed no, to No, it wasn't supposed to, but that's what the, you got to watch it. All right, we'll watch it. You got to watch, that shit is fire, son. That shit fire. Well, that's not the beat no more, but whatever this shit is, ew. You should go watch it. I'm, I'm, I'm inviting I'm you to going, watch it. Again. I'm going to see. I'm gonna go watch it. I'm it go was watch on it my again. ass because I'm an MCU. And I'm going back to the 4DX. And didn't watch it. They yeah, been I on thought my that was ass. your shit. It's not MCU. That's all. I just rushed. I'm gonna watch it. It's Marvel, though, right? It's Marvel, but it's not in that MCU storyline. Like, I just like, rushed to watch those movies. Like good. those are the ones I got to be there first day for. Why are you the laughing? Ones, at I'm gonna watch them. They've been on my ass. I was like, I can't even open this app right now. Why you ain't go see Spider Verse, nigga? Because I ain't go see. What's so funny? Nothing. I, you just neutralize me, chill. Don't, don't neutralize me and hype it on me. Spider Man's fire. I want you to go see it. Thank you for the recommendation. Why don't you take my recommendation? And shove it down the toilet. <laughs> Damn. You know, flush it in the trash. That shit was ill, son. I who, you, who you went with? By myself. I was Dolo. Did you take the kids? No. Yeah, I can't go. No. How many tickets you bought? I can't go. I bought one. It was packed in there. That's why you I had an 11.30 movie. That's I had why a you I had, a, I had a meeting. And then when I was driving by, I saw a big-ass 40X. I'm like, I'll be quiet. I saw Spider-Man. I said, I'll be a lame. I'm going there by myself, too. I walked in there. I bought this shit. was fire, son. Thank you. Salute. That was a dope recap, my nigga. It was. It was one of the best I've ever had. Y'all yeah, niggas being sarcastic Oh I, I, man yo No we giving you your props that was Do y'all mean like, this Or it's You sarcastic. make me want to go see it and, and I'm gonna go see it I'm gonna go see it Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna let you know how it was Thank you Thank you I want Thank you. Black Thank people you. bite the spiders Spiders like black I would like you to see it too ish I will Die, My nigga JBP JBP Where would you be without the JBP Okay, we're back. Nigga went by himself to see Spideyverse. That's <laughs> fire. <laughs> Cuddly ass nigga. A little Miami vacay. Yeah. You was out there I mean, you know, when you when new money comes into your you life. Where'd you stay at in Miami? Uh, stayed in Hollywood. Yeah, I stayed in Hollywood. Mm. Nice crib, too. I saw it. Can you saw, I saw it, son. <sighs> Who you stayed there with? Me and JR. Or just y'all two? Yes. Big ass crib. Okay. Mm. That's something that you know that I don't? <laughs> yeah. That's your extra day of work coming. So. <laughs> <laughs> no. You said extra. It's fine. <laughs> um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else is going on? Well, Ross's car show went down. It mm -hmm. did? 
All over the weekend. She looked popping, Ross. It, 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 it looked like, like he had a concert crazy. there. That shit, too, right? that shit looked lit. He had yeah. a concert there. He, him, uh, Meek, Mill. Meek, and Gucci performed. At the crib. At the crib. Still. Little little push. I mean, everything there at the at, at the actual compound went down without incident. Yeah, they said. That's what they up. said there was a Kroger about three miles away. I'm all, I'm like, okay, three miles. I know a little bit of distance. Yes, okay. That's pretty yeah. far. They were saying that the people that didn't get in to Ross's party or to his event had their own little shindig in the Croker parking lot. <laughs> oh shit. So the town oh, shit. It's, it's to me it just seemed like racism. I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. But so the town are blaming Ross because it was like cups and bottles and shit all over the parking lot. And they're like, yo, he should have had that cleaned up. Like, it seemed like they were just looking for How any reason. It was his fault. It, I, that's, they didn't want him to have the event. Uh, but, but I saw it too. It was his fault because he had the event. Yeah. But, it's yeah, not, but this no, ain't it's three that, miles away. Like, this ain't here. But still, you still, you are the reason that these people are coming to the town. Prove right? it. Prove it. Prove that I'm the reason that they this, can't so prove it if, if before he had this caution, people wasn't going to the town. So even before, all right, so they couldn't get in this particular spot, right? So now they go convene at the closest 7 Eleven. And if y'all see a group of motherfuckers at the 7-Eleven, go break that shit up. Go send the, the authorities there. That's a party without a permit. Y'all yeah, try to keep like me from getting permits. I'm not I putting saw, that on Ross. I saw two people. I saw, um, I think it was the sheriff and another um, city official uh -huh. saying that it was a really, really successful event, uh -huh. saying that it was over 600 and something people came. And the sheriff was like, they pulled off every single thing without a hitch, no problems, no trouble, no mm -hmm. nothing. And this was the sheriff. That seemed like a good old boy uh -huh. saying that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't want to. I don't want to. I think we find any reason to dampen. You know what I mean? A successful event from the black duo. Oh, now some shit happened at the Krogers because ain't nobody get shot or beat up or none of that shit. We got to find something negative to try and stop it from happening next year. That's kind of what I took from it. You can't blame him for that. I mean, you can't was, put that on him. It was popping. He had a concert, nigga. Shout out to Ross. Absolutely. You niggas is high as hell. You niggas is crazy as cat shit. Let me hear it, Joe. Y'all niggas pardon y'all lines no, I'm away. Not. No, I'm, I disagree. Please elaborate on if you feel differently. So y'all would be cool with somebody in the town attracting a crowd of 6,000 plus and leaving the town in a different standing than it normally is in. But they didn't say that. Uh, I'm asking y'all a question and then, then, do, then we can move on. Yeah, 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 I would. But they, okay, so you're saying... If, if, if somebody came to the event and they left my, like, let's say the whatever block Rick Ross lives on, his neighbors had shit on their lawn and, 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 you know what I mean? Like, stuff like that. Then I, Absolutely, I would feel some sort of way. But if three miles from the man's house at a convenience store, people that couldn't get in his event merged on this particular place, then that's, that's, a, that's a job for the authorities. And I'm pretty sure the convenience store made a lot of money. Okay. That's what I'm saying. The energy to do this with y'all. The authorities, depending on the day, may have more people working than not, right? Mm hmm Yeah. So you think they'd have a good pulse on the amount of police they need to man the town on whatever day that is? When you say that, you mean the authorities or the, the yeah. promoters? Okay. Uh, yeah. So if there's a crowd now and on the way to one location there is a Kroger's, like that one shit we all stop at when we go on a great adventure, the one that the, the store with the, they got all that shit over there, but it's one spot that everybody go to. Same thing there. If this is the spot that's on the way and the people that can't get in are coming here to party, these are people that wouldn't be in the town if not for this event. event. I, the I, police I, I, I are not staffed. They, they're not, they're undermanned. They do not have the uh, manpower to keep people here at Kroger's to make sure y'all not wilding or to deal with re, uh, resistance from y'all when we try to debt it. They didn't, they clean up ain't plant the next day or this day. Like you gotta be really in coordinates with the town when you do some of these things. And I think I'm not he talking about angry neighbors. I think he wasn't in, in, in coordinates with the town when he did this. Okay. A hundred percent. Now at the same token, if somebody Show up. Well, speaking for me, hey, I would hate it. Hey, look, let me if tell it was you. This. Me, hold on, hold on. I would hate it. Hold Absolutely on. hate it. Hey, if somebody had robbed that crow, I bet you the cops would have got there. Dog, you can't party at the fucking. What are you? What, hey, I'm with what, you. What, 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 I'm I don't with understand you. what you're saying right I'm, now. Because how is that Ross' fault? That's why I have my event. I got it because they wouldn't be in the fucking. Because they got Pennsylvania license plates. That's why. 
These are not people from the town. We looking at y'all. Y'all standing on cars hula hooping. We know the whole town. <laughs> okay. It's stop, Ice. I, it's not this is definitely ice. Ross's fault. No way. One hundred percent Ross's fault. So he's liable. Who for the that. fuck else fault? So he's, li- no, he's liable. That's for that. different. No, he's not going to be liable. Ooh. So somebody liability and fault. It's two different things. Two different things. So so you, no, he won't be liable. But this is his fault. So using your great adventures um, comparison, right? So if something happened that the particular Great Adventures and there's some people that did it that's from Brooklyn and they on their way to Great Adventures then basically Great Adventures is the the, the culprit no yes Great and a- no yes Great Adventures is the reason that these people are over here gotcha but they're not the culprit we're talking about a business I'm sure they yeah. I'm sure Great Adventure got insurance that they do. spans thousands of feet out in proximity Miles. of Ross we talking about a residential neighborhood this is not quite the same I'm just talking about having that one store that is on the way, one exit off the highway, or just convenient on your way somewhere. And that is clearly what this store sounds like. And I will be tight about it. Again, you will be tight as well. I was tight about it when I threw the pool party and the niggas leaving the pool party did all of that shit. Exactly. Uh But three miles away from... Ooh, that's a good one. So let's say go down Bloomfield Avenue. Three miles, three miles away. If you leave my old house... And get to that first highway right there by the, by the Home Depot, or by that Dunkin' Donuts, by yeah, where that shit is, that first store, right by that little Planet Fitness or whatever that is. That's about a couple miles. That's three miles. That's and if they miles. fuck it up, that's my fault. They don't even have a crowd over there at this time. Oh, yeah, yeah. We just, yeah. That shit be... I, I'm, I'm totally... You ain't never seen a party getting thrown over there by Verano. What is the name of that shit? <laughs> What's the name of that shit? What the fuck are y'all talking about? Y'all just be coming in and about shit. Just potting about anything, Niggas would, You would not have it. You would not have that shit in your neighborhood. No, you would not. I'm, you would be peeved. 100%. Nigga, I get mad at the hotel when I'm on the balcony and they fucking doing the unka unka shit. Nigga, I'm trying to sleep. What are you doing? Niggas pissing on the neighbors' houses, standing on top of cars. Niggas got guns. They playing bad music. Clear. Yeah, I'm going golfing. I'm with you. I'm going golfing. Clear that shit out. That's it. You're right. This is where the golfer elitist shit come from. Get this nigga shit the fuck out of here. We can. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not going to cost very much to clear up the parking lot either. It's not. (laughs) Niggas found a reason to complain about a successful event. That's all. That's all I took from that. As you fucking sh- guy again, all I, right. if it was down a block, all I would agree with man. you wholeheartedly. I think three they're doing away. this next year and the year after. What do you think the six thousand plus crowd looks like next year and the year after? They have to expect growth. It was six thousand or six six hundred thousand. No, yeah, it was more than six hundred. What are y'all talking about? Okay, all right, forget it. Move on. Them niggas gonna be at that little HOA meeting. <laughs> they was at this one. Yeah. It's gonna get it's gonna get thicker. They're gonna get they're gonna get more support. Uh huh. They're gonna get some more support for that. Yep. Bro. Yeah, but so what? Then you have to do yeah, that. Exactly. Yeah. Then you have to do that. When I was having a bar, I wouldn't drop a little bottle of wine in front of people's doors. Whether it made a difference or not, who knows? What? Yeah, you gotta do that. You Pay gotta, somebody. You have to do that. Pay Absolutely. somebody. That's all. You ain't go down Bloomfield Avenue dropping off wine. No. I know. No, I went to my surrounding neighbors. Exactly. That's what we're saying. And that's what that's that that's our point. What is your point? That are y'all really serious? Are you really serious? I'm, I'm off this. I'm done with them. Oh, cool. We'll make a four with them niggas. I know them for twenty years. They're lying. No. Are they really lying? lying? I'm not. This nigga walk out of his house. Him right there. Stop it. Him right there. This new nigga. Stop it, please. Only in Podland are y'all cool Yo, with dog. six thousand people coming to a town they never been in and fucking it up. No, nobody's. Nobody's. Joe, but Joe, it does bring Joe the town money. Of niggas' words. Joe is definitely adding words to niggas' mouths. I said easily. On your block in your immediate neighborhood, yes. Three miles away at a convenience store is not the close next convenience to, store. I would is three love miles to away. finish. How about that? Yeah, at three, that's not now my what? block. It's not my block. On my block, I'm pissed off. At a local convenience store parking lot, I'm not as pissed off. Is the people in the town are gonna blame the person that brought this big ass crowd to the town? Cool. That's just how they did. That's, so, I don't he's know. Right I don't about even know that what they're arguing. Cool. I don't understand. They just saying that they don't feel raw. They feel like yeah, it ain't I got that part. But the people in the town, they blaming them <clears throat> for these six thousand people going anywhere three miles around here. You grew up in the town. You fucking know cars by heart. You think niggas don't know when six thousand? All right. What we got? 
Well, off of the car show talk, because you know that that's what started the whole Ross and uh, Envy situation. Uh-huh. Did Envy um, have his car show? His was in. I think his happened before Memphis. Ross's. I don't know. Memphis, right? Yeah. Okay. Memphis. But um, you know that that escalated to a to an Envy and gunplay back and forth. Yeah. Uh, gunplay has sent a cease and desist to Envy. About what? Really? About the playing the phone call that. No, no, no. Um, just saying he's he's not allowed to speak on him. Uh, any defam- defamatory is that the word? Yeah, yeah. Can't speak on him in a, in a negative manner. He said his wife is a lawyer, and I'm gonna let her handle this from now on. Huh? Huh? I, I was. So I wanted to ask y'all. You know how y'all with your your you two in particular, the way you look at the streets a certain way, and people from the street. What y'all thought about that? Well, um, I heard an in- interview um, with Envy and Charlemagne. Uh-huh. Envy addressed the situation on uh, The Breakfast Club. Somebody sent it to me, but um, Envy said that, that what he was disappointed was that um, they turned like a 12, 15 minute conversation and Gunplay only released a clip of like 60 seconds of dialogue. Uh-huh. They said after they got past that, him and Gunplay had a real dope man-to-man conversation. They asked about each other's families, kids, et cetera, et cetera. So he thought it stopped right there. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I've, he apologized, he said a bunch of times to um, Gunplay and he thought that the conversation was over and then they released the clip with Gunplay saying he'll smack him and he said he was kind of disappointed in that. But he said um, they... Gunplay said he wanted a public apology, but it was Memorial Day and Envy was doing whatever DJ gigs he had booked uh-huh. up. So he didn't come to the radio station until the following day. He wasn't at the radio station. And so that's why he never released a public apology. So he said that, yo, we, we kicked it and chopped it up. You should have never put that out. Like if I apologize to you for something I did and me and Parks left it right there, uh-huh. then it stays then right it stays there. there. True. So that's, I agree with that's, that. that's what Envy said that. You know what I'm saying? He was like, uh, they stayed on the phone for like 10, 15 minutes. Huh. So, I mean, to send a cease and desist, I guess that's they, per, they prerogative if they want to do that. I don't know if it would work if you're in the public eye, right? Can you? I don't know how that I works. I don't know how guy. that works. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a legal guy. Anything? You said that I don't, um, from the street perspective, should gunplay have sent him a cease and desist? You said, you ask it. I'm just y'all have different take on. I mean, you know, I mean, use his wife as a as a as a person that he says she's gonna let take care of it. I mean, a lot of times, what I live by, my wife may not live by the same thing. And on top of that, if you decide to take it to the street, like with this, you end up going to jail. You put your hands on him, you slap him. Now it's public. You might slap him. You you'll get arrested, Mm -hmm. and envy will sue you, or you may get arrested. You know what I'm saying? And he's a brand. So yeah. if he want to do that and don't want no negative press coming toward his brand, he could do that. But like like Park said, I, I'm in the middle because, not in the middle, because I wouldn't send a cease and desist, right? Matter of fact, I'm lying. I would have a cease and desist sent to a person that is not from the streets. Okay. Right? If I know that they have an advantage and they could use their their power and stuff against me or whatever and I know that if I slap them or get them slapped that I'm there's no indemnification clause that I'm held liable I'm sending them a season I'm gonna use whatever I'm gonna use their power against them okay I'm gonna play sense. their game makes, sense. makes a lot of sense somebody that, that that like if it's a nigga that you if I see him or we gonna bump into each other nigga we gonna talk about it I, I, I'll handle it like that because now if I send a nigga like that a season the 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 outpour, the outcry about it, it looked bad on me. Like, look at this nigga. He's supposed to be from the streets, and you talk about a lot of people. Now, look, you said in the cease and desist, it looked a little bit different. Okay. I get that. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what I'll do. Same. You said cease and desist? In a heartbeat. It's not true. The more we keep having these conversations, I think the alternatives sound real stupid, but I done said that about four times, so I'm going to mute up. Said what four times? That some other the alternative sounds stupid. I done said that like four topics in a, in a row. One different topics. So he did. I'm gonna shut up. But this is another one of those for me. If I live here and you live there, and you keep talking about me, and I want you to stop, I could either send the cease and desist through my attorney, which you have to honor, or there's ramifications, or I could tell you to drop your low and. <laughs> 
do, do, or see you when I see you. Donate time and out of my life to catching you, to beat you up, to mm. try to get you to stop talking, even though you maybe can talk again. Mm-hmm. And you just don't talk, talk sounds, way more. Hold on, wait, wait, hold on. You don't believe in dropping lows in there. That's not your style, right? I don't. Oh, okay. So that's what he's saying. He's saying the alternative oh, you, sounds. Oh, oh. You that's stupid. You man. don't drop lows and try to be there with niggas and shit. No, no. Right. If somebody I, asks me I, where I, I am, I seen you drop a low, and I want no. You didn't. You saw me say I'm in New Jersey. That's a very obvious low. I'm in you Jersey. You dropped a low. Stop. Yo, yo, please. Yeah. Oh, I no, I didn't. Send it I, I wasn't about, there. I, I sent that nigga about. to a gas station in Pennsylvania somewhere. I, don't talk about it, I sent that nigga to Walgreens. I don't want to talk about what it. Fuck, did you talk you about? You dropped the location. You was ready. I wasn't there. And when I spoke to you, nigga, you was huffing, puffing, nigga, ready, nigga. I your wasn't. At, I wasn't was in Pennsylvania, different. though. But your tonality. But I wasn't in Pennsylvania. Okay, but your tonality was completely different. I heard in your voice. I questioned you about four or five times. You didn't even want to tell me where you were at. You was on some real different Tom Cruise shit. So don't come up here. And but that stands. <laughs> All that you saying stands. So, <laughs> I'm with the bullshit if we get the bullshit. But if we just talking about somebody said some shit. Over but let me there, ask you a question. The caveat. Let me ask you a question about this. If somebody else that wasn't in that same realm or have realm or have that type of outlook on them did that to you, you wouldn't handle it that way. If a John, say John from ESPN, yes, right? Would. Surprise, you would say, wait, look, wait, wait, which way? If a John from ESPN went the same direction that this indiv- individual went, you'll, you'll drop your location. You're John, not playing. John from ESPN hopefully wouldn't, wouldn't even wouldn't. If I say, say that. If, if, just say, just say, just say he did that. Say that, Joe, if you want to speak, if you want to speak to me, I'm willing to meet you anywhere face to face. We could talk and you bring all that energy to me. Are you going to drop location like how you did? Or are you going to be like, man, fuck that. I'm going to handle it a different way. Uh, I don't know. It but we just said he didn't drop his location. But he, oh, it, he it wasn't his. If you drop it, that's what I'm saying. saying dude, if it, I, if it, I, I and, tell you anyway. anyway. no, no, But wait, but and drop dropping your location is dropping low. Yo, this is where I'm at. Nigga, pull, pull, up, up, yeah, pull up. What we, we doing? I was asked a question, <laughs> but you didn't. You didn't let the person and know that drop I'm not a there. Location. You wait, didn't wait, drop no, a location. Come on, I didn't drop. I don't address. cape, my nigga. You know I don't cape. He didn't drop didn't a drop location. A, if you no. drop, I sent you an address to Walgreens. Listen, to what I'm saying. If if you drop a location, <laughs> and told I'm you to hit me when you get there. That's trolling. <laughs> told him to hit me when you get there. That's trolling. The like yo, well, which, no, maybe I'd pull up if you went. Which Walgreens? You said Pennsylvania. It's far. You changing it now? I'm Walgreens in, in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. I'm saying oh. somewhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> somewhere. I thought you were talking about heard, nigga. Like, yo, like, flip, let me tell you. Man, you this hear a lot for the fight not to happen yet. That's not what I You heard. hear a lot for the fight not to happen yet. What about the fight? What you exactly. About? You dropped the location, nigga. I'm uh, telling you. Somewhere near Camden, nigga. 24 What are you seven, talking about? Stop I'm touching me. Drop I'm a location near Camden. That's not dropping your location. But how is a person that you're dropping a location to supposed to know that's you're not the dropping point. a wrong location? Because your stupid ass shouldn't be texting somebody or hitting somebody to say, what's your location? <laughs> Yo. You fucking idiot. So Look, why I drop anything in the first place? Because I'm no, fucking with you. Because yeah, go to point. Walgreens, you idiot. Take your look, dumb ass look, up the... Look, 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 You are flip floppers. You are not. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's not. Listen, listen. He was ready to get Listen. Then why he ain't? I ain't moving. That's you. I'm talking about you this whole time. I wasn't going to Camden. Hey, look, uh, let me tell you something. Yo, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Cla- look, it's a classic. That probably got to be sanctioned, better. Listen, flip. and I don't think this is compelling. But so tell them what I you got to tell. Look, I got you. It's a classic, classic, classic Twitter story that happened. The meet me in uh, Temecula. Temecula. Oh shit! Two niggas on Twitter was arguing Christmas morning over Kobe. Temecula. Remember, you remember? I remember, everybody remember very this shit. Well. And dude it's was one of the biggest stories in the world. Big, real talk. This shit I'm made a, CNN. This every, shit made the news. Every, yes. I never heard the story. So yeah. they going back and forth on Twitter. I mean, getting spicy. He said, "You know what, yo? Where you at? I'm tired of you talking. I'm pulled. This is Christmas morning. I, it's important. I keep reiterating this. So dude said, "I right, meet me in Temecula. Gave him some location. Niggas, nigga name was a uh, Mister. I forgot. I forgot. Nigga. Anyway, dude went." Left his family, got in the car, drove. How far was that? It was like three hours. Oh, it was, shit. It was a hike. Am I lying? It was a hike. Taking pictures, the whole shit. Yo, my nigga, I'm here. Where you at? It was like, man, I'm not even in that state. It's, uh, I'm home. Dumb nigga. Yeah, dumb nigga. Fucking idiot. If you dumb enough to Why do that. Why would you do that like an idiot I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to give you the location. Somewhere way over there. We just hope that some people... You know, be honorable like it was back in the days. <laughs> that's what that's I just said. That's over. When I was growing up in 2000, you know, meet me on Jamaica Avenue, nigga, on the corner. Nigga, you go there. Oh, my fights never went like that. If you go there, a nigga might not be there. 
Five minutes later, best believe you see a bunch of cars pull up. It was like that. These niggas that conform to the internet way of thinking is weird to me. It's, it's not, not conform to the internet. It's, it's, it's the real if a nigga world way of thinking. I'm going to just tell you, I'm not meeting you nowhere, nigga. I catch me a Some niggas say, catch me a traffic. Yes. True. Yes. Some niggas say. So you give an address... Me respecting you or thinking that nigga, I'm going. Oh, all right, nigga, this smoke. We go, I'm pulling up. Oh shit. Let me ask yeah, you. And this what stuff. you say when you get there and you realize that let shit like two hours you away? Feel, you gonna feel stupid. No, and let me ask you when I'm it's the other kind of smoke. Golf. Mission accomplished. It's <laughs> definitely go <laughs> golfing. Yeah, Yo, let me ask you when this, you pu- this, this when you time. pull up That's and you mindset. see a different type yeah, of smoke. I'm lost. And that smoke just keep coming out, and the nigga got to switch on that thing. That's what that's what generation we yeah in. like why we don't promote ways to live to, to like the, even that to you diffuse here, trouble you yeah sure. talking to me about sending Duke that um, that address right like what is really that conversation rooted in true sure. absolutely nothing I'm it's saying a fight that, that ain't even about nothing I get you I agree that's true I'm so sure. I want to niggas better promote. Positive ways to prioritize your time, and when you're ready to get to the bullshit, make sure that it's something that you it's worth that it's you worth, feel strongly it's worth about. The point I was I, I only bring this up because if forced to defend yourself, you're going to defend yourself. True. Absolutely, so I was trying to but, prove that you you participate. But I don't in, need you to prove that to nobody. I'm not trying to prove that. I'm trying to prove to you because what you said. Don't prove it to me. You just be if you ask me for an address, I'm gonna send you, you somewhere be pardoned 79 too, the of, miles away. All right, so don't question our right. pod. Don't question us doing things for the pod because you say shit for the pod when to me you did the total opposite. That's it. That was my point. That's that was only my point. Are you, be, you, are you are you finished the point? Yes, I am. My man, cool. Let's get it. What else we got? Anything? <laughs> Y'all will never go bored. Let's again, boy. <laughs> I'll tell you that one. Nothing happened in the world. Let me ask y'all a question. Sure. Yes. It's it's a it's we in this social media world, so it's a social media question. Okay. You cool with someone, right? Or you don't have any issues with them. You just you know it's whatever. Yeah. But you don't like their posts. Uh huh. What do you do? Mute them. Why? Cause I don't want to see that shit. Why not unfollow them? Cause I like them. They might feel away. I don't understand that. Some I people get really butt hurt over the follow. I understand unfollow. That. I understand it. Like, if in person, I might not necessarily dislike you. I like you okay. in person. Uh-huh. But if you just keep posting a whole bunch of shit that I don't want to see, or I'm, you have these dumbass stances on certain issues, I don't want to see that come across my timeline. Right. I could still like you as a person, or I'm going to just, you know, I can mute you. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I probably But if I unfollow you, that don't mean I don't like you as a person. But a lot of people take it yeah, the other way. That's true. That's the that's the only I, I reason why I, do. I really don't. I don't mute anybody. I mute everybody. <laughs> I don't. I don't mute. Like like if I if you posted some shit and I just I'm like ah, Parks, what the fuck? I'm tired of this shit. All right, unfollow. Don't mean nothing personally. Right. You could walk in here, yo, my nigga. What up? What up? Like we talked to Mel. Mel don't follow none of us. True. It Still. don't mean she don't fuck with us. It's just I don't follow you niggas. And I just was I just wanted to ask a bunch of people what they thought about that. People like, get really butt hurt over that shit, yo. That's I'm I'm with parts, but I can just mute you and get you out of my f- sight. I think muting is a little like being scary. I, that same. Huh? I think passive muting, aggressive. I think muting. I think leaving your not having your red receipts on. I think all that shit go together. Where I just don't want you to know what I'm. I just don't. I, I see you or I don't see you. I, I don't mm. want you to really know it though. I want you to think one thing, even though it's not that. Come on, I got part of the show. All right. From somebody who is scamming and did not leave their real name or email. I hate them. That too. That goes in there too. <laughs> Say it from There's the another page. real good long one here, pause, but it says, I'd love to hear from a listener. She's not here, so I'll we'll hold see. that. Mm-hmm. Man, Joe, I'm not going to lie. I think the porn industry is trying to trick us. So I'm on my favorite site and I go to my favorite category, Big Tits. <laughs> So I fast forward to the good part, reverse cowgirl. But something was off that I didn't see at first. <laughs> she was riding him while jerking him at the same time. Uh-huh. Yeah, two dicks, pause. In my head, I was thinking, why is she turning up like this, just jerking him? I then threw my phone and stopped all action. She wasn't jerking his dick. She was jerking her dick. Oh, shit. They got me, Joe. <laughs> oh, shit. SMH. <laughs> But I have noticed that in some of the trans categories on the thumbnail are real women in the industry. But on a serious note, the porn industry has a lot of power. 
Do you think, do you think they can influence the younger generation to be sexually fluid? I see why this was sent anonymously. <laughs> Uh, and I'm going to answer yes. I do think that media and porn sites have the power to influence how fluid someone is. Uh, I mean, if that was the case, then everyone would be out here fucking their stepsisters because that's the main category that yeah, this, is up on that first. I can't even watch regular porn this, anymore. This is the part dude forgot to tell y'all. On the porn site in the corner, it say what you want to look for. <laughs> Word. If you seeing that, you click that other button over there, homie. Yeah, that's true. So he's trying to say the video is put in a different category. No, I think homeboy's fronting. Yeah, homeboy. He front. ain't go to he, big he, tits. He, no, he went to big dicks. <laughs> hey, <laughs> big tits with dicks. Don't cry, man. What? Hey, he fronting. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I, I don't. I don't necessarily know if I think it has the ability to. Um, influence somebody's sexual fluidity because again like we said when you go on porn it's mad different sub genres Facts. and you pick whatever you want so if you don't have any interest in that you're not going to necessarily pick that you get what I'm saying like whatever I click on on porn sites is some shit I'm into you know what I'm saying or some shit that might so turn me on so you're I'm saying not. that there cannot be a mistake that you go to a trans video I didn't say that at all I've never been to one and I watch porn so I've never clicked on no trans video or no video of sexual fluidity. So I don't know how that mistake. It could potentially be made. I hey, guess. hey, yo, hold on. I got to say but something. But he said he got all the way into the shit. <laughs> hey, yo, porn, son. Yo, there was some fetishes that they get a little crazy. It does. I had a I had a breast milk fetish one time on that shit, bro. <laughs> I was watching like a hundred videos. Right, we'll move on. We'll move on. Does everybody have a sleep? Hold on. Why you have to move on from my fetish? Because we're moving on. I respect that's, that. That's we're moving shaming. on from your. That's king shame. But let, let I didn't him do shame it. Shame him. I just moved on. If you, and this is what hilarious. you type in. That's the porn so. sites. That is funny. Then get your shit off. So what they be doing? <laughs> they, they be milking. <laughs> they be squirting out the breast milk. It be fire. <laughs> that shit fire. At one point, nigga, for like a year, and you left it alone. I tried to find mad new videos. <laughs> All right, hopefully y'all enjoyed this part as much as we enjoyed delivering it to you. Hopefully everybody has a real good week out there, work-wise, professionally, personally. Oh, on Friday, on Friday, 20-year anniversary of my debut album. If wow. y'all thought, thought that top three Joe Button episode was like a Joe Button episode, <laughs> oh, y'all ain't seen nothing. Wait till Friday. Hey, buddy, Mike can take off on Friday. I ain't gonna lie to you, huh? I had that written down for you, too. We was going, I was, yeah. I had that written write down for Friday. For me. I know what time it is on Friday. 20 years, dog? Um, gotta. That's fine. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming here to do okay. it. Okay, all right, bet. I'm coming here to do it on bet, Friday. Bet, bet, bet. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there until the next time. I bid you adieu. Farewell, adios, arrivederci, hasta la vista, au revoir, so long, goodbye. Remember, life is a series of moments and moments pass, so let's make this one last as if it's as, that, that, that. as if it's all we have. And lastly, the baddies are insecure, the stagnant people want to travel, and the closed-minded chicks want you to teach them things. Grab you a Tylenol, you might need it. Also, again, I want to send a big up out there, a big, a big heartfelt hug to anybody out there that might need it. I know it's a lot of people going through trying times, going through some real shit in their life. Hopefully we were able to provide an escape. And if not, we'll keep you in our prayers. And please do the same for us. We gone, man. Busy week, busy week ahead. Busy week ahead. Nice weather. Niggas might be outside. Please be careful. Stay safe. Head on a swivel at all times. New Joe Biden. <laughs> New Joe Biden.